and we are back once again, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. UTR probably presents Talk Yo Shit. Hey, we are back in it. We are, you know, back at it once more time. Tonight, we're going to have a little fun. We're going to talk about music. We're going to talk about artists that you've listened to in your lifetime. We're going to talk about, you know, albums that you have heard, may not have heard. We're going to try to enlighten you. We're going to try to just put you up on game and not possibly you can possess up on game. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about basically art. We're just going to name a bunch of random artists, and then we're going to have open discussions about them and the best albums that we think and our opinion, and you give us what you think in y'all opinion basically so huh let's get to it let's get to it all right first first uh first artist i'm gonna say is the shy lights the shy lights what in y'all opinion is the best shy lights album i'm gonna say uh a lonely man well, because like I said, the 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 song only man, it's a cold cut. It's cold as fuck. And like I said, my pops used to play that shit a lot back in back in my childhood. So that's gonna be my um my uh take on what I think the best shy lights album is. So companion, if y'all can continue, please. Mine's is gonna be the greatest hits, and that's just because when they got so many bomb ass songs, you can't just pick one album. Wow. So that's bananas. That's bananas as fuck. Yeah, I ain't mad so, at that one, but but for me, it had to be "Letter to Myself." Oh, so nice. for me, so for me, it has that I like chill. That. That... Not not you, Meech. I'm talking to somebody in the comments. Uh, Val- oh. Valley Highs, uh, the Shylights, bro. What's the what's the best um Shylight album you've heard? Go ahead, Meech. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's all good, man. But to me, that album, it, it really had that chill and laid back vibe to it. And that song, Too Late to Turn Back Now, mm. Mm. that, boy that, that out spoke cold. volumes to me, bro. That's, that's a cold song, too. <laughs> cold song. No doubt. Well, before we continue, well, before we continue, um, Johnny say, what's the deal, y'all? What's the deal, Johnny? Hey, what's going you on? Reading comments now? You, you reading comments now? You hosting? No, I'm just, no, no, I'm not so reading comments. Like reading comments? I'm just, I'm just getting so you it. hosting and reading comments? Get out the way before we get into it. But you hosting and reading comments? That's what we doing, because I can sit back. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Professor. Go ahead. Oh, read I'll just ask it. I'll try to make sure I knew, you know, where I was supposed to be at my play, you know. Johnny's in the building. Johnny come lately. Is actually Johnny come first today? Okay, so Johnny's in the building. He said, "What's the deal, y'all?" Stacy's in the building. She said, "Hi, hey, Stacy." What's, hey, what's happening? Um, Get better, sweetheart. Get better. Valley asked who we already answered. He said, "I gotta check them out." Valley, you don't know who the shot lights is. We gotta talk. Uh, Seven's in the building. She said, "Hey, y'all." Seven with what's the up? Girl. What's up, Miss Seven? And Johnny said I was on time today. Yes, you was, Johnny. You definitely yeah. was on time today. Yes, was. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna continue moving it on to the panelists. Um, like I said, what is y'all what is your favorite shot light album? Let's let's hear it, y'all. I mean, like I say, don't be shy. <laughs> not the shout, not the shout lights, bro. Shy lights. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Let me. I'm just go continue, panel. I'm sorry. I think my Wi-Fi kind of spotty again tonight, so y'all excuse me if I go in and out or, or glitch or anything else. But I already can see you guys uh, freezing on my end, so okay. y'all excuse my okay. Wi-Fi. Um, but I'm agree with the professor and say the greatest hits. Um, Apple Music only lists ten out of the eighteen albums, so I didn't have you know the full research in order to do. Uh, find out what their best album is, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the ready sits on this one. Okay, okay, okay. Miss Heather B, you are the last. I would have to go the same just because that's what I grew up on. My stepfather used to play the greatest hits all the time, he had a great vinyl collection, and literally, oh, well, also, he used to make mixtapes for my mama. You know how they used to do back in the days when they liked you, but. 
a lot of the Shy Light songs were on there. So unfortunately, I didn't really listen to a full album. I tried to <laughs> listen to the other albums, but it just, it's not the same. So the great definitely. When he tried to make the tapes for your mama, did he used to take the corner so he can record over it again? Yep. <laughs> That's how, <laughs> damn right. That's that's how I used to tape over my. That's, 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 that's how I used to tape over. That's how I used to tape over. That's how that's how I used to tape over everything and <laughs> video tapes too. I can yep, you, tape you take them too. Oh, no, no, you put a piece of paper. Put a like if you like an actual VCR tape though. Right, <laughs> you put a piece of paper on it. Right you put, in the a, put a piece of paper in there. I can record over a tape that they bought at Blockbuster. <laughs> they, they was pissed. Oh my god. I taped over Rosewood. They was hot. <laughs> Rosewood. Damn. Blockbuster no, didn't want to sue me for that. <laughs> why is one hundred and one Dalmatians on? Why is one hundred and one Dalmatians on here? <laughs> anyway, we gonna uh, go before, to the wait, wait, wait. Before we get to the next one, let me just read the last couple of comments. Um, Stacy said, "Thank you so much," and of course, you already corrected uh, Valley on his shout lights, and then he said, "Oh, lol." Okay. Okay. Yeah, bro. Shot can, lights. So can I can I just say um these are just our opinions on what we feel is the greatest album by the artist. Like if you feel like uh there's a different album we didn't name or you feel like there's something that we need to get our attention, whether right. you know we disagree right, or whether we agree, can y'all just drop that in the comment and why you feel that way? But uh all opinion, it's all opinion. It's all all opinions. opinions. Yeah. I mean, based Remember off what, based off what we like and what we like to hear is what the answers we given tonight. We would want you, we would want y'all to do the same. That's right, and, it, and it's not. It's, there's no right or wrong answer to this. At the end of the day, y'all, there's right. really no right or wrong answer. Of what you feel is the best album. Uh, Patty's yeah. in the building, and she said, "Hey, everybody! Hey, Patty! Hey, Patty! Say my name! All right, Patty! Patty! So let's, <laughs> let's get to the next. Let's get to the next artist, people. New edition." New edition. What is the best new edition album that you oh heard? Of course. And like I said, like I, this is open discussion. I'm not asking. No, I'm not asking. Y'all need to just get to talk. I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll take everybody's shit. Like, I'm gonna answer. Care. And my no, answer is going to the same answer. Home again was my album. My wow. album. That's a shock, shocking, but it's heartbreak for me. <laughs> it's heartbreak for me too. Yeah. Heartbreak, right here. Heart and he's heartbreak, heartbreak period. Heartbreak. Like I said, it, March March hey, March I live March alone. March That's what I do. Top sticks. Hey, now, now, Home Again was probably their most popular album of all time. Was it? Seriously? Yeah. Especially wow. if you, if, especially if, if you was born. I, I that. That's crazy. If, if, if you was born in the late. 80s, early 90s, you're probably gonna lean towards. Well, that album was made in 96, so yeah. My, my point exactly, but <laughs> if he was born in the late 80s, early 90s, you're probably gonna lean more towards that album because that's what we grew up on. But if you're, if you really did your, if you really, had, well, I ain't gonna say that. I, 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 heartbreak is my shit. I'll, I just, I'll leave it at that. Heartbreak is my shit. I, like, I boy, say like, this. Where, where you think boys and men got their name from? <laughs> the, the, the way I went about doing it for me True statement. is. I, I looked at whatever songs, not was just popular, but what songs resonated with me. And so since those th songs on that particular album resonated for me, I went with that album. So, you know, teach us Again, Hey, and I'm mad at you. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was still not, a great album. It was still like a great album. Like I said, like I, it's definitely a great album, but like I said, this is our opinions. It ain't nothing personal, but like I said, we gonna, we gonna keep it pushing. Before we keep it pushing, go go ahead, Miss Heather, because you sound like you wanna uh, say something. No, I was just gonna say that any heartbreak was also one of the great albums that Jimmy Jim and Terry Lewis produced. Facts. Which is why it had yes. one of the greatest sounds. Like one thing about Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, they knew how to take whatever it was that they were going the artist was going through personally and put it into music. And at the time they were basically you know, making that transition to being, you know, from kids to grown ass men and they really complimented that. With the music on that album, very good perspective. Very good. Look at how they come with the Wikipedia facts. That's facts. You know, you know, during, during the verses, you always have that one random page that come with the with the uh, the, the facts. That's how it be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it'd be like, uh, tell, it, tell them, Heather. Tell them, Heather. I have to feed this. I have to feed <laughs> this. <laughs> Just tell them. Mm -hmm. 
It'd be, like, it'd, be like, it'd be like somebody from the Jack in the Box uh, posted like random facts, like, yeah, New Edition was started in, in, in 18, uh, 1987. I'm like, Jack in the Box, you don't give a fuck about your Wikipedia oh, no. facts right now? I'll oh. take that. <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I do appreciate the fact. I do. I, I like the facts, though. I appreciate that. So if you got, if you got more, if you might on the panel got more facts, or people in the comments got facts about any of these groups, drop them. I, I'm, I'm gonna drop them. I love, I love, yeah. I love to learn new shit. So please, absolutely, drop absolutely. It. I don't want to discourage drop nobody. It. So yeah, you know the old saying goes, "Knowledge is power." Is it really? But anyway, um, <laughs> I got one point six seven. That's not the, that's not the case. You got one point six seven. Oh. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It didn't help me. So, <laughs> but before we get to the next artist, can we please hit the comments, Professor? Thank you. Uh, Patty said, "Oh shit, I love Home Again." Uh, no, every song "Heartbreak" is close second for me. Okay, Patty, I see you. I see you. Okay. Johnny said, "Heartbreak." Okay, Johnny. Patty said, oh, we doing Boys to Men because I was in the fan club and had everything they ever made. Patty, Wait a minute. Get your obsessed you now. Not, you're, getting too, no. you're getting too close. You're going, you're going too far. I said the song, <laughs> not the group. I said the song, not the group. I said and the Z is in the building, y'all. And she said, what's Z, up? Z, 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 Z. Hey. Hey. So, let's get to the next artist. And the next artist is Guy. <laughs> Guy, y'all know about Guy Teddy Riley. Uh, what's his name? Mr. Nasty Man, Aaron Hall, and all that. And uh, you know, they intertwine. Uh, uh no, it's Teddy no. Riley, Teddy Riley, and them niggas. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What was that going Aaron Hall name? What <laughs> no, uh, you, you, you right, but Aaron Hall really never mind. Let's just let's let's <laughs> that's, that's, that's another discussion. All right, all We're right, I'm already all right, gonna right, say right. it. The what? first album, the first, thank album. you, Forgot. thank you. Thank you. Guys, no, yes. but like Step I said, we're not gonna sleep on the second one though. We're not gonna sleep on the second no, one. No, of course not. One. But the second one was the good. Wanna get wanna get with you? You crazy. That and uh DOG be out, you fucking out your rock. And let's chill. <laughs> Hold on, groove me, Teddy Jam, peace of oh, my love. Oh, see, goodbye, love. Goodbye, love. You can call me mm. crazy, just period. You you y'all really about to go round y'all, and y'all round? Do this? <laughs> yeah, that's been, that's been yeah. remade a thousand times. No, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that it's a better album. I'm not saying it's a uh, it's the the the, the better album. I'm just saying, motherfuckers saying it like uh, the other one wasn't good or nothing like that. No, oh, no, no, it's not that. that it was, was, it was, it was a lot of songs. It, it was a lot of. You know how what just happened before when y'all all picked the other album, I picked a different album. That's just what happened here. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, so like I said, let's 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 but let's stay on the same train and get to the comments. Though. Well, we only got one. And Valley, you moving too fast. We not at them right now, bro. <laughs> Stick to the people we talking about. Well, but he we'll said in my life is is an underrated cover by B2M, which is Boys to Men. Oh, and he said, "Don't be doing Mr. Hall like that, though." But there's <laughs> nothing better than Let's Chill. Said that whole album for me. You know what? I'm not doing Mr. Aaron Hall, the guy who says the same first name as I, or I share the same first name as him because he's older than you, or whatever. But whatever, I'm not doing him. But let's be real, Teddy Riley was that nigga back then. He was, he was that nigga again on TikTok. That's all I'm saying. So yeah. it was it, at that time when it was guy, it was Teddy oh, Riley in the on, niggas. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get my band together. Hold on. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna fuck up my Wi Fi tonight. That's how you gonna act. <laughs> <Dang. laughs> so, you, know yeah. you know I'm facing baby face tonight. This versus y'all gonna learn to fuck up my Wi Fi. Don't you know I'm Teddy motherfucking rally? <laughs> I'm not playing. Okay. 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 I can't. I beat you to it. Me, I beat you to it. I quit. I said it already. I quit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, do we got any more comments before we go to the next artist? Um, no. All right. Next artist, people. Next artist, people. In the comments and on the panel, it is Drew Hill. What is the best album? Into the Drew. Hill. Into the Drew. Into <laughs> the Drew. What you're about. Into the Drew. <laughs> give me one more. Um, give me one more reason. I got people. Into the Drew, and I got Drew Hill. They self-titled album, both of them. I'm I'm Drew Hill. Slight margin, slight margin. I got a, I got a tie between two. I got um, uh, 
You drew hell and then entered a dragon. That that's my tie. Damn. Like, he hit me with a loop hole with the end of the dragon one. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's that's the third one, right? Mm-hmm. That that's my tie between one and two. Not the third. No, 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 no. I'm saying no, no, he's saying it's that the uh shit, my bad. I'm about to go back and look. My bad. Y'all go ahead and keep talking. I'll, I'll let you know in a okay, second. Okay, well, like I said, not 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 important, but I'm just asking, just just for my clarification. But yeah, so what was so like I said, people, what in the in the comments, what was Drew Hill's best album? As far as y'all opinions, not y'all opinions, just 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 you know, we just gonna keep it, we we keeping it all good tonight. You know what? You you guys are right. End of the Drew. I don't know where I was thinking about dragon shit. I mean, <laughs> no, because I because I I was gonna say dragon. You probably talking about Cisco unleash the dragon. Yeah, probably. You know what? I, I just saw that. I, I, I probably saw that. I, I, I saw that emblem. You know that say emblem. That little logo. That little dragon. So you know. But yeah, Inner okay. Drew. Inner Drew definitely had that. Had them, them and let me just say that everybody slept on jazz vocals. That's all no, I'm for real. Jazz had fucking vocals. Yeah, they all can sing. They all they can, all can but people the have to vocals. Yeah, the but he can still sing. Oh, yeah, same Shit, way. Jazz can sing. I mean, your sunshine in the morning and <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always the fat nigga in the group that always know how to sing real good. That's crazy. Even even Wanye and Boys and <laughs> Men had them vocals. Well, you wasn't fat back then. Well, you just like, chilling. Like, oh. He, he's okay. fat now, but I'm just uh, another story. He, 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 he was bigger than the rest of the niggas. Side note, I okay. like the fat niggas in the group because I was like in love with jazz. Don't judge my life. I like fat boys, okay? From a young age. You like Big Mike from day 20? Never mind. That's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I like fat boys. Don't judge my life. But I'm going to be honest with you. For me, the only reason why the first album wins over the second album it's April showers. What do you see April showers? Like you can't oh just April showers. That's a reach. Don't don't the first album got like five. No, it's it other got, two. It, it, it got so it got so it's special. No, first album got so special. It got five steps. Share Tell my me. world. Share my world. Never make a promise in my bed. Whatever she tripping because it tell me you ain't never seen a big nigga jump that high in your life. That's a fact. That's a fact. That, is a true more, statement. that wins big all time. And he wasn't out of breath either. Like he At was all. doing he was, he was able doing to that better than he was low-key doing that better than Cisco was. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Before That's we continue, but before we continue, Ion, what's the comment? Ooh, this first comment. Uh did Stacey just say all Drew yes. Hill songs suck? Yes, she did. Yeah, that's what she Stacey, said. You sick, but I'm gonna tell you to go take your sick ass to the corner and you, yep. you on timeout. You you on you definitely on timeout for that one. All uh of them. Patty all said Patty. all of them, all enter of them? all of the Drew for me. That album kept in my rotation. Okay. Nova's in the building. She said, hey, y'all. Hey, Nova. Hey, Nova. Patty also said, facts, jazz could blow. She also said, yes, swear no one knows April showers when I would mention it. Oh, no, people know April showers. Well, this panel know. does. We this all panel do. definitely knows April showers. So, Just facts. So, we, so, you go take your April shower, and we gonna move on to the next uh, artist. And the next artist is... Uh, T to the L to the motherfucking C. Crazy sexy for me. Period. Really? Crazy sexy cool, and it's kind of a tie between ooh on a TLC tip. That's those that's two my, albums. That's why I picked. That's my first one on a TLC. Those, tip. those are my two albums. But I, 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 I like I said, shit. for me, I mean, crazy. The only reason why crazy sexy cool was better, honestly, because they actually got into them full cells at that point. TLC, the ooh on a TLC tip was kind of mm-hmm. like they're just trying shit out, but they got mega hits off that motherfucker though. That's the crazy shit. So I, they do. So I mean, it can be for me. It's kind of a tie, but if but if but crazy sexy cool is by thin margin. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm that same way. Kick, Kick your, your game. game. Digging on what? you. My shit. Okay. What about your yeah. friends? Yeah. Yeah. Baby, yeah. Baby, yeah. Baby, yeah. Baby, um, baby, baby, shit. That's baby, baby, baby. 
pass it back. So, I mean, I get it. So that but uh, I did like, but I did like if I was your girlfriend, I'm crazy, sexy, cool though. That's just yeah, that's my shit. So so y'all know, fun fact Ooh, that um the verse that Left Eye did on House Party Three was actually supposed to be a verse on MC Light's album, and because uh. Pebbles ass wanted like 80% of that. They decided not to do the album. So mm. she just did it on uh, House Party 3. Mm. 80% is a huge cut. 80%. Damn. Right. Y'all got to cut up 20. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, though, that we're going to act like that's not like uh, industry standards, that 80 20 deal. We, we know that's. Uh, yeah, but, mm. but it was. She wanted twenty percent of that. So, I mean, eighty percent of that song, but that wasn't even Left Eye song. It was MC Light song. Yeah, for Pebbles, I want that is is outrageous to me. Yeah, right? I mean, we all yeah. we all know the history behind Pebbles and what. Exactly. Right. Right. Fuck their way to the top. Fuck their way to the top. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, where's, the, where's the lock? Where's the lock? But anyway, there's none. Ain't, ain't no lie at all. Patty said, "Crazy sex is cool, but I also like fan mail because CSC is the goat for TLC songs." Hmm. Okay, okay. Shit, hey, like hey. I said, I gotta check. Hey, that fan out. mail was a dope ass album. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Unpretty. I, I still listen to Unpretty, so shit. That's hell yeah. Unpretty I mean, was a dope album. That shit, one I mean, she told the nigga to get her some tissue so she can wipe her ass. That little little thing. Cause I ain't, gonna, cause I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I be sitting there, I be sitting there harmonizing with them on unpretty shit while I'm in the car by myself, of course. But I'm just saying in general, like I be harmonizing with them. Omega oh, said, in really this thing, what up, Omega? What up, Omega? Yeah. Omega, you made it. What's the deal? What's the deal? This is your show because we talk about artists and we know you are an artist. So chime in, come talk with us, man. Cause we we talking some shit tonight. And it's like I said, it's about uh artists and their favorite. Their, your favorite album in your opinion that's what we're giving our opinion on artists random artists favorite album she so, said Omega said i'm here i'm late but i'm here and you ain't too late you're good on timing omega you're good on timing omega we ain't complaining we ain't complaining, we ain't complaining. rather right. you have you here with us than not here at all so let's move on to the yeah. next let's move on to the next one next one is bobby brown best best album don't be cruel. Don't be, don't don't be cruel. cruel. Don't, don't be cruel. It's unanimous. Don't be cruel. Now, granted, now, granted, now, granted, I can't think of what album this one, the, uh, I can't think of what album this is on, but the song Girl Next Door, that is my shit. And I bang that motherfucker out to, I, I think I'm probably like the only person on this earth that still listen to that song like that. Like, Girl Next Door, that is my shit. I don't care. Nobody fuck. But Don't Be Cruel is definitely Bobby Brown's best album. Don't get me wrong. Bobby, the, the Bobby the uh album hard as hell too. It's hard as hell. So yeah. The thing that trips me out about the <laughs> Don't Be Cruel album is the fact that Teddy and Babyface both produced on that album. So shit, that's so that's, shit, that's, that's, that's real that's classic. So, that's was, shit. Them is, them is cheat codes though. Like it's, it, it's it was like, set up for success for from the beginning. Yeah, it's set yeah, up for success. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah. It, man, because I mean, come on now, come on now. You have the mind of Babyface and Teddy Riley all on. Well, the writing of single. Babyface and the and the beats of Teddy Riley, she you can't you can't lose. Yeah, you ain't back losing. In the Especially I mean, in eighty in, 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 in eighty eight, they was probably like not even in their prime yet. They was probably just peaking the 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 plateau of the iceberg, and for them to put out that type of magnitude on Bobby Brown's album in eighty eight is um fucking believable. Yes, really? yes, yes. Talk your shit, my brother. Talk your <laughs> shit because <laughs> it's unfucking believable. Um, okay, but before we, got we move, your comments. let's hear them. So Omega said, Don't be cruel for sure. Patty said, Don't be cruel <laughs> because I would never be that cruel to you. <laughs> uh, I'm shrugging my shoulders because I can't wait for the, this answer. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, it's let's don't shake it's you gonna get a lot going. more interesting after this. Yeah, it's about, about, to get, it's about, to get, it's about to get personal, people. So, next artist, R. Kelly, best album. R. Kelly's best album. Let's fucking hear it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and say this. Understand? 
we understand that there are people who have their personal opinions. So if you don't want to answer, it's okay. We are gonna go ahead and answer them. I'm gonna say this. Be careful who you say you don't fuck with and who you don't listen to. Because remember, the same people you don't fuck with and don't listen to also wrote a lot of songs for the people that you do fuck with and listen to. So know your artists before you say, I don't fuck with them because then you got to get rid of their whole catalog, which means not, everything they wrote as well. Not just that, but some of your favorite artists might be doing the same thing R. Kelly doing, just haven't got caught yet. So off your shit. Don't go. Don't, don't. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So, like, like I, I said, said, separate the man from his music, period. But anyways, moving on. Oh, but we get an answer, so that's good. <laughs> so, like I said, oh. TP2, goddammit. TP2 is that man's... Now, like I said, I can't even I can't even find an album that's horrible, personally, from R. Kelly. But if I had to pick... What you about, what you say? Did you say, ooh? No, I, it's a comment. Now, go oh, ahead. I, 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 no, no, no. I I'm saying, not girl, I'll murder you. Don't you ever, <laughs> don't you ever disrespect chaos like that. Let that man do his 30. But anyway, like I was saying, um, TP2. You want to be in peace. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to have no vibe. Yeah. Oh, I bet he wish, wish he believed he could fly. Fly where? Back to the under eight. No, he, she of age now. So No, he's going to fly to McDonald's. Never mind. Anyway, Go I'm going to answer it. I'm going to answer it, and I'm going to say this, and I don't care, but I pick love letter, which is – one of his dopest albums. One of his dopest albums. And I'm pretty sure nobody would have thought of you know that particular album. But yes, Love Letter for me. Love Letter and Chocolate Factory. Chocolate Factory. Mm. And Don't judge up. me, judge your mammy. Mm. Double up. Too. Shit. Ooh. I Double got up. a I got a tie between um 12 play and TP2. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. It was it was a tough one for me, but I I gotta go with his self-titled um subtitle album and Ooh. and R. Oh, nice. damn! Get up on a roll, etc. <laughs> Home alone. Ooh. You know what? Let me just say this real quick. It's it's funny that we got three people to answer on the panel already. We all gave different albums already. That should see that should speak volumes in regards to R. Kelly's music. Right. Facts. Right. Right. Facts. Because, like I said, we love music. And we're not we're not gonna give you your average. Cause like I said, <laughs> R. Kelly, R. Kelly's R. Kelly's the fucking go. I don't care what nobody's like. Go ahead. <laughs> Heather B, what's your I'm answer? Not lie, it's, it's, for me, it's a, it's a three way tie. I answer these R and a chocolate factory. Wait, you said what was the first one? R. Tp2. Oh, TP two. Oh, TP two. Oh, R. Okay. And we a chocolate TP two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, but okay, my thing is though, um, why is it a three-way title? Um, the Chocolate Factory actually has. A, I can listen to that album beginning to end with no stops. I can do but that. R is just like super nostalgic for me, and TP Two is just a banger. From let me tell you something, because he was feeling on the booty. <laughs> It was the greatest sex. First of all, Aaron, you know, I'm have it, up it was little Kim booty he was feeling on, and she was of age. So, can't nobody say shit to me. I give no fucks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> my booty, feeling on booty at Chuck E. Cheese is a terrible, terrible thought. What? Feeling on booty at Chuck E. Cheese is a terrible thought. Uh, <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Not a Chuck E. Cheese. Like I said, I was thinking McDonald's play play, but that's just me. But <laughs> can we move it? I quit. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get we should have quit too a long time ago. <laughs> we got a lot of comments. Hold on. I gotta go all the way back up. Okay, there we go. Right. Hold on. Uh, Seven said, oh shit. She also yeah. responded yeah. with 12th play. Mm -hmm. Nova said, TP2. Patty chunked mm -hmm. up the deuce. You don't like them, that's your personal opinion, not mine. Don't care. Moving on. Kirk said, What up, fam? What up? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait, wait. Y'all watching. Kirk got Kirk coming back. Got got the got the new crew podcast coming out. Just make sure y'all check him out. Really it's gonna be, gonna be some fire shit. So, like I said, thank you for kicking in here with us, though. 
but we we appreciate you and we appreciate what you're trying to do so come on back bro i'm dying to hear it i'm dying to hear everything that y'all been that, that y'all been working on so let's sure. get it Omega said, I like Black Panties album. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Desiree I'll agree with that album. She okay. said, yo, what up, Desiree? Hey. What up, Des? What's going Seven on? Seven said, no lie, all his music slap, just hate what he did. Again, that's that's true. Like, no, nobody is condoning what he did, but you have to separate the music from man the from the music. And if you can do that, you can enjoy it at the end of the day. Don't matter right. who you're talking about, because you're not thinking about what he was thinking about or allegedly was thinking about. So, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the fact that you like his music. I don't think it's allegedly no more. He got convicted, so I don't think it's allegedly. Well, I mean, Tupac yeah. got Tupac got convicted. That don't mean he did it. So that what the fuck does that mean? But anyways, moving on, not that you know there. Nova said Chocolate Factory had touching on it, right? I'm going to get back to you on that one, Nova. I'm not sure. I'm about to double check that one. Nova also said, I really like the album with Sex Planet on it, LOL. Um, Seven said, when I listen to his music, I have to turn it off eventually because I start thinking about what he did. So I can't separate the two. Understandable. Um, um, if you can't separate, you can't separate. Kirk was like, thank you. Honest. You know, he appreciates it. And he said, thanks, fam. No, no, no doubt. doubt. No doubt. Just remember, everybody has a right to opinion. As long as you respect everybody, it's all good. If you choose to not listen to R. Kelly, I don't blame you at the end of the day, but I will still listen to him. And yes, I am a woman, and yes, I do have nieces and nephews, but at the end of the day, I separate the man from the music. I do not condone what he does, but I do love the music. So. And to answer Nova's question, that is TP3 that you're talking about. Yes. That has touching mm. on it. And that's and that song remote control was fire. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. That was my shit. Mm. So yeah. Was, is that all the comments, Miss Professor? Oh, wait, yes. one more. Uh, no, it's one more. Uh Kirk said, Hey man, 12 album was the one. 12 12 album? Okay. I'm definitely saying 12 play. 12 play one Gerald was saying. No, I I said TP one. TP one. No, 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 sorry, don't, don't, he said don't, don't 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 try to don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Uh, Patty <laughs> said, okay, but why uh, don't care to my opinion? It's valid, just like everyone else. No, oh, I've no. never said that your opinion wasn't valid. We I said no, I, I don't that. care that nobody doesn't if you they don't listen to it. That has nothing to do with me. I never said your opinion wasn't valid because I clearly said we don't care for what he did. We don't like what we did. We don't condone what he did but we do listen to the music so anybody that doesn't listen to it i don't care if they don't listen to it that's not my problem is what i said so okay. i never said like his said, opinion was invalid like i said the opinion is very valid it's just a simple fact that we just separate the man from the music that's it that's all you know what i'm saying don't take no what nothing what we're saying is personal that's and all we that's completely it. understand if you don't want to answer because we understand we understand that's, that's completely exactly that's what we, understand. we understand but we it's just saying we just like the man from the music. That's all. All right, but let's but let's get back on track and let's move it on to the next. And the next artist is SWV. What is the best album from SWV? And it's traces of my lipstick. No, because you're wrong. Because you you asked about SWV, but you're speaking on your skate. You beat me to it. You beat me to okay. it. Okay, okay. Y'all right. Y'all right. So I wrote the wrong shit now. I yes. fucked up, y'all, as normal. <laughs> but don't worry about it. I'll come back. So SWV, um, I pick it's about time. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I also yes, went with, yes, also yes, went with yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. I also went with that same answer too. It's about time. I felt like that one was more. I felt that one had like the most, like the most uh, concept wise, and plus it it had that edgy sound to it. You know what? I knew most people would say that album. I'm a flip the script and say New Beginnings. There you go. Mm. New Beginnings. Mm. Guess what? I'm gonna flip the script even more and say I wasn't an SWV fan. So 
Oh, same here. <laughs> I, I, there, there, there was there was songs I like by yeah, SWV. Right. There was, I, I enjoyed their, their I enjoy individual songs, but I I wasn't the type to like their albums from from start to finish. Right. That that. that I mean I mean like I said, they're each his own. But you know, like I said, but I, I'm a, I'm a fan at the end of the day. Okay. I'm a fan. Now, do do I know their shoe sizes? No, not by any means. <laughs> so. But I love their music, and like I said, I listen to their album. So, you know, I'm a fan at the end of the day. So, so yeah, it was new beginning for me. I'm sorry when I said Traces on my lipstick because that is Escape. So, y'all got my answer for later on in the show. But the next question, next, more like <laughs> basically, <laughs> actually, actually, the next question is uh, the bars. Oh, okay. it's not. Well, oh. after Escape, <laughs> it's after Escape. Oh, so I wrote everything wrong. So. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, okay. up, bro. <laughs> I'm fucked up, bro. I'm fucked up. My one point, not my my GED is flaring up right now. So yeah, y'all gotta excuse me a little bit. So what's what's the next? What's the next one? Wait, did we get everybody? Did everybody? Yeah. Did everybody? I just, oh. Like me, you, me, <laughs> you, me, me, double A, and Heather said new beginning. The other man, um, we said. Me said it's, a, it's about time, right? That's how you say yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bad, so who's, who's next? What, what, what's next? Uh, escape. Okay. So there's my answer. Traces on my lipstick. That's that's actually my answer too. I didn't have that answer. Whoa! I have, I have, what? You, I am shocked. What? You have me. I, I didn't either. Off the hook for me. Oh, okay. Off the hook. Definitely. Okay. I, off the hook for me also. Come on now, do what lovers do. I got, I, I got uh, humming coming at you. Mm. Oh, the first mm. album. Okay. The very first album. Okay. okay. The very first album. Oh, what's 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 the people? What is your favorite Escape album? What's your favorite Escape album? Even SWV, because oh. y'all didn't answer that one either. So what's right. y'all? Yeah, favorite? and SWV. SWV and yeah. Escape. Yeah, please album. let us know. We we want to hear those answers for sure. Y'all y'all, y'all went all in on R. Kelly, but <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the women don't get the women don't answer for the women. Okay, no, that's kind of harsh. Um, I am done. <laughs> the pork in me. I'm done. I'll I'm tap out. Done. I'm just saying. I'm just saying at this point. Like I say, as soon as I said R. Kelly, the the comments started jumping, jumping, jumping. The, 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 ain't that Disney Joe? Oh. We here, put another professor. We good. We in here. The back, and, 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 yep. And the reason why I sang it like that is because we're not getting to that group. So. <laughs> no way. We <laughs> no way. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So, like I said, people, let's hear. It. Let's hear. It. What's your favorite SWV album and your favorite Escape album? I'm gonna give y'all a couple more. Couple more sex. Just to get into it, you gonna give them a cup more of sex? Yeah, <laughs> sex as in S E C, not S E S. Okay, uh, Patty said, "Escaping S W V." I like specific songs rather than whole albums. Okay, what are the songs you like? You can listen okay. to yeah, please, yeah, please let us know. We yeah, can agree, I, I can agree to that statement for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 yeah. So you know, we like, understand there's certain people that. Maybe you haven't really listened to like that, you know, in its entirety as far as their albums are concerned. So even if it's just it's just songs that you right. feel like are the best for you. Write them down. Write them down. Or, 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 or even if it's songs like we we don't we didn't pay attention to, please let us know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Matter of fact, <clears throat> we don't we don't we don't open up. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, what what do people? Thing, like what are some hidden gems that people had on some, these albums on SWV and uh, Escape? Just the making making alive in the comments a little bit. Mm. Seven said traces uh, for sure for Escape. <laughs> Patty okay. said my little secret right here are my favorite by each respectfully. You my little secret. So you now you know what that was one of them songs where. She had a side dude, or just a sneaky link for back in the day. Sneaky we hear, we hear. <laughs> we had a lot of those in the night. That was a sneaky a link before the word sneaky link was even invented. Right, exactly. Before it became right. popularized. Um, 
you know, Rain Down on Me was one of my songs. And then when I found out what it meant, I said, you look nasty. I, I think, uh, I, mm. well, I can say for myself as well, I did not know what they mean when they are talking about Rain Down on Me. I, I right. thought I thought yeah. it was outside or, 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 or downtown for that matter. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's those type of songs like we yeah. listen to as a kid. But now downtown, I had no business singing as a kid at all. But like I said, that that, that I think that's the difference between <clears throat> the, the, the 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 generations. Like you know, like it it, it used to be sexual in you, and though we know will. You know they'll try to they'll say it a certain way and it can mean one way and it can mean the next but you know it could be yes or no because back in the day some of them i, old I, know, songs, I already know where you're going but go ahead <laughs> some of them old songs would be like you know what y'all was nasty yeah certain songs was 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 straightforward and to the point i must admit but like i said most of the time it was sexual innuendo now you know it's fucking the second you got to put a condom on just to listen to all that shit. but anyway <laughs> Go ahead. I got a question. How come uh, on Human Nature, Michael Jackson got credit for all that, but then SWV got the radio remix version? Like, how come they didn't get uh, credit on that Michael Jackson version? It just says that version is by Michael Jackson, Human Nature, but SWV got a radio mix version. Like, I'm confused. But, then, but if I'm not mistaken, didn't he come out with that? But didn't he come out with that first, though? Yeah. Yeah. So did SWV was never on the original track? No, that was oh, no okay. No, My because mind. um that 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 song is actually from Thriller. You, you know what? You're you're right. You're right. Oh, okay. the song is actually from Thriller. So they took it and put their swing to it, and you know all that shit. But people, you know, some people felt it. Some people didn't. So it's each his own. But um, but what's even crazy. more crazier? Well, after Heather finish, what's even more crazier though? I just recently seen an interview with Coco talking about the song. Okay. He gave them that sample for free. He did not charge them. Yeah, because he owned oh. me. nothing. Go ahead. Uh, it was off the Free Willy soundtrack. It was. It was. Wow. Free Willy was my movie. I don't know what you talking about. Roy, we, we here. We brothers. We tonight. here. We here. Free Willy was my shit. I don't know what I'm saying. After the I'm show, I'm going to talk to Willy. I don't care hey, nobody's after saying. After the show, it's the after party. And after, I'm sorry. Y'all can have the after party. I'm turning on Free Willy. Why <laughs> <laughs> not? Hey, you. I hate you. Let, let me get to the comments. We here, hey. <laughs> yeah, we got comments. Uh, Sunny said, comments. "Hey, let's 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 uh, she also said we were like seven years old. Of course, we didn't know what that meant. LOL. Right. You know that. Omega oh, said, "Right." It was <laughs> seen the ring on me. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> and he said, okay, so honest, I was this year old when I found out the true meaning of rain down on me. I think we all was around this year old, Patty, when we found out what that actually so meant. Back. So, you, you're not the only one, trust we, we me. We're all late to the, to the conversation. <laughs> right. <laughs> Seven said right. yes. Patty said, didn't MJ give them permission for his song? Yes. Um, Seven said, SWV sampled the human nature from Michael Jackson. He approved it. Okay, thanks for the info, y'all. I appreciate that. Appreciate yeah. it. So we gonna get to the next artist, huh? and the next artist is the barge. The barge. All this love. All this love. Uh, In a special uh, way. Well, mm. they greatest hits. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> right. No, that, that's a fact. That's the I'm, real answer right I'm, there. I was about three, four hours, and I was kind of like, okay, I'm kind of sick of this shit like, now. I, like, I, I, still don't understand, <laughs> I still don't understand why the DeBarge got put on that high of a plateau, but at the end of the day, we're like, going to say the greatest head's going to rock it for sure. This, this, is, right. Right. this right here. Man, this right here. I, I, I got to say. here and, and date Janet Jackson, huh? Yeah, and oh. false settles and shit. Like, yeah, like you don't know, you got light skin, long hair. He didn't get like late Janet Jackson, he married her. Right. Uh, well, yeah. based on her documentary, they they was, I guess, they, married. They, they, no, they did, did, they did get married to her. Like he didn't propose to her, but they got married. Fact. They, they 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 were married. They were married. That's that's they all were married. Like, <laughs> she admits that. Like they were married. Real now cool. the way they got married was was completely wrong, but they were married, bro. It, it is what it is. 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm going with the greatest hit because uh, yeah. I tried to, man. I tried to, man. The only, the only, but the song, the song on is... his love. Go ahead, God. I'm sorry. Oh no, oh no, don't. I'm only gonna say "Rhythm of the Night" because hey, Last Dragon. Your favorite song? <laughs> we talk, we talk about album or song? No, just the song. Oh, I'm gonna say that's your favorite song. Like, come on, are you serious? That's 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 wild. So we just know. Hey, Blake, hey, Blake, hey, Blake, 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 Okay, you know, you know face would be tripping. All right, I mean, let me tell you something. I mean, Facebook, we not tripping, own, but Facebook, you know, we do not own uh the music, okay? For the rights. No. Technically, I sung it, but you didn't have the actual real music playing behind me, so we good. Right. I, I do own the vocals. I do now for later on in the show. I do own my vocals. You know what I'm saying? I might not own the song, but I own my vocals. But anyway, sure? positive. Oh, okay. I'm just asking questions. Just, just making just I'm saying I'm telling, but yeah, sure. before, but but but, uh, but back to me, I, I don't think you even listened to the bar of Rhythm of the Night was your favorite song. But <laughs> we gonna go to the comments, Professor, please. That is one of his favorite um, movies. Hold on, because I got no, Last Dragon is the shit, but damn, bro. <laughs> um, Seven said, I'm only 21, I don't know who the barge is. Oh, okay. Lord, she, she lying. She Seven. Lying. Patty Seven. says, Oh, yeah, this listen to the corner, Seven. Is waiting for you. Hey. Come on, Patty. She My also said, uh, seven, I'm done. Okay, you 21, I'm 22. All right, Patty, grab her hand. Y'all gonna be going in the corner together. Y'all right. gonna, <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna be skipping over there. <laughs> Patty also said, oh, and his version of, um, of Secret Garden. Okay. That's actually... A bunch of dudes like that's that, that's uh, a whole group of people. Yeah, that's, that's Elder Barge, 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 Barge. Uh, I can't think. Barry of White was on one version of yeah, it. Ba yeah, no, Barry White is on the version. Yes, that's that, he's yeah. part of that song too. And um, um, shit, I can't think of his name right now. James, I can't think of the other guy's James name. Ingram. But yeah, what you say? What you say? Means? James Ingram. There you go. Exactly, James Ingram. So yeah, that's that's all them on there. So. <laughs> let's get to the, let's get to that last comment so we can get to the next. To, to Patty the next. said, "Okay, you know I go to the corner and I know I and you know I like it, like his verse." Okay. 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 Well, you gonna sing that in the corner? You gonna sing that verse in the corner? So <laughs> Miss Twenty Two, <laughs> right? <laughs> Twenty One. Twenty One. Twenty Two Savage. Y'all go stand in the corner for a second. Right. Damn. So the next. So the next artist is the Commodores. The Commodores' best album. I Commodore subtitle. I agree. Zoom. Commodore. Zoom. Zoom on it. A oh, brick house though, because you know back in the day <clears> before <throat> I gained this weight, I had a brick house, y'all. This was a this was a brick house right here. Okay. Now it's a full two story. Brick house. They're <laughs> <laughs> going in the brick house. Ah, it's a brick house. And he got some brown stuff. It's to it with a trailer and everything. You, not, a not brick a house built with a brick shipyard. That's all, that's all that is. Don't worry about it. Either Don't way. Don't worry about it. But like we, I said, we love you with the brick house or the double story or the double decker, whatever you got going on over there. We still love you. Thank you. We God. still love you. Don't Thanks. worry about it. Don't worry about it. So, Heather, did you answer the question? Yeah, I said the greatest hits. I could just pick just one. I'm, I'm, um, yeah. I'm I, 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 I feel that. like if I'm okay, okay. I'm just saying this. I'm just saying this for future reference. I'm saying for future reference uh, on this show. Uh, y'all got one greatest hits with me because <laughs> <laughs> no. you know what? No, we're no, not, no, not with the older artists. We can't that do that. Fair. With the older artists, we can't do that. Because first, no, because you know we're gonna get down the line, and it's gonna be certain artists where it's no way in hell. <laughs> uh, if, if the artist is, if the artist was making music from and the eighties, nineties, anything from the eighties or nineties, ain't no greatest hits, y'all. But if we, if we go 
70s and 60s, 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 I'll take a greatest right. hit. Okay, okay. I'll, right. I'll let that slide. I'll let that slide. But if it's in the 80s right. or 90s, I better not hear no greatest hits because you have to give another answer. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we, yeah. all right. So I'm going to give you the greatest hits on that one. But, oh, yeah. let's, but let's go to these greatest hits in the uh, comments. Uh, Omega said Zoom 100%. Yes, Omega. Seven said, okay, I know Brick House, but that's the only song I'm familiar with. You don't know oh, Zoom? You know Easy Like Sunday Morning? Come on, now. Uh, Patty oh, said, Patty said, Patty said, Patty said, Patty said, Patty said, Patty said, me too, Seven, because my yeah, mom plays it all the time, off. trying to remember yeah. her pre-kids life. Oh, I would have oh. Kevin Nash call you, Seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kevin Nash still play all these hits. Yeah. Hey, is, is, Art LeBeau, is Art LeBeau still around? <laughs> hey, 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 listen. <laughs> what I say? This is the homegirl shy girl, and I want to give a shout out to my baby creeper. Tell him I love him and I see him when he get out. Oh my god! Again, <laughs> that's what <laughs> So there you are, creeper. Shy girl misses you, and we're gonna play. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, and I like it. <laughs> they had okay, the horns uh, back in the day, boy. I don't care anybody say. They got no horns like that no more. They had right. the horns back in the day. Freddie said, "Okay, I do know Easy Like Sunday Morning too." And then Seven mm -hmm. said, "Laugh my fucking ass off." Y'all can come out the corner, by the way, Miss Twenty. Right, right. Y'all can come, right. come back in the Y'all can come out the corner now. So let's get to let's get to the next. Let's get to the next. Y'all need to be writing these names down because y'all got homework. Facts. I got homework. <laughs> Patty said, so, "Deep voice ass DJ late night was lit lit though." For real, right? Time. So I know the song when I hear them laugh out loud, but not the names of the groups. When we give you okay. got homework, okay. seven night girl. So you gotta listen to the Commodore Seven. So next time you see us, you got we gonna we gonna trivia you. We, hey, we you might even dance for the Commodores at the next battle. You never know what might happen. Right. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe not, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next, so next artist is Lil Kim. Ooh, Lil Kim. What hardcore. is the best Lil Kim album? Mm. I said hardcore. That's my answer. Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go with hardcore for this one. I'm going with La Bella, La Bella Mafia. All right, you by yourself. I'm hardcore with the rest of these niggas. <laughs> 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 I, I ten toes down. I stand alone. I will. <laughs> La Villa Bobby, that was my shit. I don't give a fuck. I played that shit from from front to back. I couldn't even lie to you. Like I said, she was on. She that was like two thousand three and shit. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna even hold you though. Kim got a lot of good albums and a Facts. lot of good songs. Yeah, it's hard. That shit was hard. That There's shit was no wrong or right answer, y'all, to none of these questions. It's not just how right. no yeah, it's just honest opinion. But, like I said, if we talk, okay, if we talk shit, we're just making fun, just you know, just to make it more a little more interesting and all this other shit, as opposed to just keeping going, just just flying by. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. Like the professor said, there's no right or wrong answer. Like the rest of the panel said, there's no right or wrong answer. These are our opinions, the, and we respect your opinions at the end of the day. Like I said, if we joke on them, you know, don't don't take us too, don't take us serious. We just playing, so let it low. So like I said, as I said before. I stood alone because I like LaBella. <laughs> well, I'm looking well, at the comments and you ain't by you yourself. Ain't, you ain't the only one. You got, you got somebody else. <laughs> really? That's my oh, shit. Let, let, let me get to the comment right quick. Uh, good, Seven good. laughed. She laughed at Aaron's uh, comment from earlier. She also <laughs> said hardcore. Omega said notorious okay. KIM. And Patty said mm. LaBella for me. LaBella for me. There you go, your person right there. Okay, well, I do not stand alone anymore. <laughs> the question All is, right. are y'all standing in the corner or y'all standing out the corner? Patty also said, for me, hardcore was only about her sucking dick. It was a couple of cool, but that's it for me. Damn. Uh, you got it hold on. Hold on. Hey. You got it going on. Let's, let's, going not, on. let's not forget about the day and time that that album was released where women really had to kind of like come differently. Than just your um, average woman today, not like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. Like that shit. <laughs> hey, because it's only because of what Patty said and then what he said, oh. so it just kind of <laughs> sucking dick and coming, huh? That's that's the wrong show, Professor. We don't, you're doing the wrong show. We're talking music here. <laughs> I'm 
sorry, y'all. Next show. That will be coming up shortly. Just know it. Uh, Seven Read said, it. what's wrong with sucking dick? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Okay. I, love said, I love him. I love him. But she was coming too much. <laughs> well, you, you, you saw, well, you saw the, uh, that biopic of Notorious. You know, he went in that studio and said, what the fuck you doing? I told you, pass me the mashed potatoes and wrap that shit. Like I say, I read that. Like I told you, wrap the shit. Well, well, she did, I'm well, passing the mashed potatoes underneath my bed. <laughs> Who you calling a bitch, nigga? You were saying that shit when you was eating my pussy the other night. <laughs> no, Ooh, when, you the back, when you look at the back, <laughs> when you look at the back, they're little C's. <laughs> Sick of saying, oh, never mind. That shit was funny. I can't remember what he said. That shit was hilarious. All right, Patty said, Patty said nothing, and then Seven says, Sometimes we want to rap about it. LOL, facts, right? We didn't say it was nothing wrong with hey. it. It's just a simple fact. <laughs> like what you like, I like what I like, bro. There it is. She came out after that documentary and said that uh, they don't like the way they, how they portrayed her is crazy. But you know, the fact that she said she wanted a Chinese woman player that's the part that killed me. I was like, Excuse you, the Get same the reason why she got her stomach pumped. <laughs> I was just about you to make say a spike can disappear in her mouth. The mm. same reasons why she uh, got surgery done to her. Never mind. All right. Yeah. Anyway. So that's what next person. Next next artist. Biggie. Oof. Favorite Biggie album. This gonna be con- this, this is gonna be this gonna be controversial. Life after death. Life after death. Life after death. I'm different. Yeah. I'm different. I stand ten toes on my Where you going with it though? Ready to die. Okay, I mean, yes, like I said, you, you stand on that. Ten toes down. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, and, and, and it ain't bad. It ain't definitely ain't bad because, like I said, life after death is good. But then when you think about it, it's a double album. It's too many, it's too many joints. It's too many joints that's <laughs> slashing. Uh, and he gotten better. He got gotten better at that point. So yeah, fast. That, that, that was like at the me. height of his career, though. Before, unfortunately. It, Unfortunate events happen to him, and uh, we all know the story. Okay, okay. So but, Seven says, "Y'all get off Kim, laugh my ass off." She should told the mother, nigga, "Never mind." Anyways, uh, Edward's in the building. What up, Edward? He said, "Life after death." Uh, what up, bro? Harry, <laughs> 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 I'm trying to concentrate. You over there doing this shit right here? I <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I was freezing. I was freezing in the Matrix, and I was trying to dance at the same time. So I'm not sure y'all caught me or not. So I stopped. And I started doing it again. Like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> definitely got caught for sure. Seven said, "Life after." Edward said, "Oh yeah, ready to die for sure." Patty said, "Okay, I give him life after death, but I was too West Coast at that time and was too team Tupac. Fuck the rest." So you, so you <laughs> biased as a motherfucker. You biased like that ain't, that ain't cool. Like music is music, sweetheart. You know what? Just, it's cool for her to say that now and admit that that's how she really felt at that time. Because honestly, a lot of us was, whether we agreed to it or not. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, no, but to I mean, be honest with you, a lot of people still are. It wasn't an East Coast, West Coast for me. Max, it was like, I, like, I like music. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I but, like but that's few and far and in between because with the whole beef that was going on, you was either East Coast or West Coast. It really wasn't no in between. And unfortunately, we fell into that stigma of west coast we west coast we listen to it that's where we from they east coast east coast and till this day it's still a lot like that if you really think about it think about how when they had the verses with 40 and and uh short and like half of most of the east coast didn't even watch the shit because they claim like they didn't know the artists or whatever the case may be but us music is music to us but not for everybody you know what and, and, and it's still like that and i hope kurt's still watching the show but even when i went to atlanta it's crazy how they'll play all their down south midwestern rappers right. and, and all right. we get is we one Nipsey no hustle song. we don't get no, no love, love in the clubs like we might get and, one Nipsey no hustle way. song after that just, right I, back driving, to I drove from i drove from atlanta all the way to savannah and um I listen to every radio station and they just consistently play their artists. They don't play none of us. But on the oh, flip yeah. side, on the flip side, we don't we don't do that same thing on the West Coast. Like we got love for everybody here. Yeah, we play what's out. Yeah. We play what's out at the end of the day. In so, fact, yeah. we probably play more of their music than we play our own music. Like at, at this very moment, if Juvenile back that ass up, come on 
in any, any West Coast club, I guarantee you the the, the, the dance floor is being packed. Yep. A- ass is everywhere. Ass is everywhere. <laughs> ass is everywhere. But let's take our asses to the comments. <laughs> Patty said, uh, at that time, I was that way. And Seven said, high key is still like that. West Coast don't get played in the South or East. And that's facts. But at the end of the day, that just lets you know that we are more... I, I want to say this, but I don't want to disrespect nobody when I say this, but we are people who look at music in its entirety as something great and we play what we like and we listen to it. We're not biased to the fact that it just comes from the West Coast because good music is good music no matter where it comes from. Unfortunately. Facts. But that's Talk just that's Talk just how it is. Shit, professor. Um Patty said, back that ass up. Yep, ass everywhere. Um, Seven said, I was told that the East and the South don't get the gangbanger rap from the West Coast. That, and you know, okay, hold on. Let me tell you how funny that is. Wait a minute. The East, the, the, the South and the East don't get that gangbanger rap music, but yet they claim all this the, the, the gangs from the West Coast over there. But right. even even more than that, like a lot of like West Coast rappers, before they even get big, they kind of migrate to the. You got to make it big in the Midwest and the East or down South before you can come back out West again to get big. So uh, a lot of like even a lot of like our Bay Area rappers now are even like our uh, like even Mac Dre. Mac Dre was big in Kansas City before right. he was even big in Oakland. So it's it's funny how the progression of artists happens you got you got to make it big in certain regions of the world before you can make it big worldwide or or even big on the west coast if you don't get if you can't make it big in the midwest or the south or the east then you're not gonna make it big at all well what i'm saying is this the gangs make it no, bigger I, over there before the music does which is crazy no, for sure yeah so chris chris so brown is, is, is from so you chris brown from virginia but she's claiming a blood game out here little wayne's right. from uh louisiana but claiming a blood game out here so i mean right. even, even going to the newer yellow 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 beezy is a crazy yeah. so yeah and and that's the thing that so you don't understand the rap part of the games but you understand the game makes no sense to me but hey to each his own but we're gonna go to the comments right quick Please do. um edward says they don't understand it he also says um yeah they claim all our hoods are here or over there. Draco said the South don't really understand LA culture. It's not LA culture. We're talking about West Coast culture in general, in a, not just in LA. Whole, in whole. Um, in its entire, entirety. Yeah. And Everett said, I definitely agree. Patty said, I feel like the South is jealous of LA culture and music. So they hate, but can't stand if we hate them. It's not LA's culture, though. Think, it's a whole West Coast thing. I don't think they're jealous. I think that's bad wording, but I definitely understand your point. And I, you know, I understand where you're going with that comment, but I, don't, I think it's a uh, bad wording that you said. Uh, Kirk said, here y'all go. Kirk said, about the South. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait. What you mean, here we go, bro? Like, here's the, the truth. comments and we'll come back to you. Go ahead, Professor. Um, you. Drago said, when I went to school in the South, they used to always ask me what the rappers would ask me. What are the rapper? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. The rappers when they yeah. say dot dot dot. Okay. Yeah, I explain that. Okay. Explain Can that because I was so confused. I don't um, even know what you're said, about. Patty Valerie, who hating on LA? Seven said they're not jealous. They don't take the music serious from the West. That's a fact. Said, that's a fact. Yeah, said, yeah, but truth. what's What's West Coast thing? The culture is LA, honestly. What else or where else or who else is putting on but LA realistically? O- Oakland, Oakland got their oh, own right. Oakland got their own culture out there. Come on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gonna grab, like, just go over Granted, to LA, LA has like this, not doing something big, this big yeah, culture. We, but yeah, we, have we have a big market, yes. On the West Coast that has their mm-hmm. culture as well. So what I'm saying is, because I don't want this to turn into an East Coast, West Coast beast, because because it's it's getting a little out of hand. What I'm saying is this. West Coast appreciates the music from everywhere more than the East Coast appreciates everybody else's music. Because we're going to play everybody's music regardless of who you are, where you're from, whatever. And it's a little bit different when it comes to the South or the East Coast. That's all I'm saying. It's plain and simple. 
Uh, Kirk said the South most definitely established himself without LA culture. I agree. Uh, we're, not, agree. we're not disagreeing agree. with that. We're not disagreeing with you on that. Uh, Seven said the Bay Area, Edward, and then Eric said, Who's coming out of Oakland? Give me seven people. I will wait. Oh, Lord. Drago said, My bad. I was trying to say that you used to always ask me, What do LA rappers mean when they say dot, dot, dot? Then I'll explain it. Okay. Because I was confused. I was gotcha. like, oh, okay. Seven said, That's our fault, though. We play everyone's music and slow to put on our own music out there. That's a fact. That's and Eric says, I agree. And Patty says, I agree with panel and more West Coast, not just LA. And Kirk said, okay, so okay, so what? Yeah, what are you what are, what are you getting at? But like Kirk, let me just I say think, I don't think he's understand like this is the thing. Just like they said earlier, we have no problem with giving love to other coasts and to other people. We have no problem with that. The issue is when it comes down to other coasts or people from different areas, we don't we don't get that same love. That's but the issue. And even that's more, even more than that, like let me just say, Kirk is 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 probably an exception to the rule because I would say Kirk really does like Nipsey Hussle. Kirk really does right. like certain artists from the West Coast. So it's, yeah. it's kind of unfair to kind of group all the East okay. Coast not all. and the down okay. south together. Okay. We're, not gonna will, whole, we're not gonna yeah, say the whole. Yeah, but I will say south. that I will say that if you go to the South, we don't get the same love as if when y'all come out to the West Coast. That's all I'm really trying to say. So, yeah. Kirk, I do appreciate you, I do appreciate you being transparent and in oh, the time I have known you, you do you do rev Nipsey Hustle harder than a lot of people who's even from from the West Coast. So, and this is true. So yeah, I, is true. I, I, I can say you you kind of like a an exemption to this rule. But be real. Think about some of your homeboys who's only been in Atlanta their whole life, and you know th th a lot of them might have different different type of uh, perspective opinions on West Coast exactly. music than what you do, and, and that's because you took an interest in West Coast music a little bit harder than what, what the others have from where you're from. And I don't I don't fault them. I don't fault you. It's just it might just be a culture clash of where we all come from. Period. Big facts, and that's facts. And then we're gonna go on to the rest of the comments, and then we're gonna move on to another. Artists, um, seven corrected herself and said, Our ever said lol. Drago said, But there are certain parts of the south, like Florida, where they actually really love West Coast rappers, and this is true. That's true. Um, seven said, Kurt, don't start <laughs> laugh out loud. We had this conversation every time, man. Lol, <laughs> Kelly Carr was in the building. She said, Hello, everyone. What up, Thank Carl? You, um, Edward says, I'm sorry, I'm moving it down too. He said, Yeah, because we play everyone music here, we respect all coasts and music, and we don't get it back, which is true. Kirk said, You know, Atlanta loves LA. No, well, I mean, Atlanta is not everywhere, but that's fine. Love is love. Um, are you talking about, you talking about this is the city of Atlanta? Because <laughs> we, we talk about Georgia, let's, let's go. <laughs> okay? Uh, Kirk said, You. You know how much love E40 gets in Atlanta. A lot. That's, that's E40. Lot. Uh, Seven said, I lived in Atlanta and they only play mainstream music from the West Coast. Kirk says, uh, Seven, that's because y'all be feeling like the South don't have no love for y'all, and that's not true. We call it spade to spade. We see how we see, and what is seen is what is said, but we're moving on. Man, Drago said, Man, all freshman year, all I heard was E40. Patty said, yes, I do feel that way. Kirk said, we talking about where I live. Edward said, that's not Atlanta. Laugh my ass off. Kirk <laughs> said, I can't speak for other cities. I feel it. Yeah. We're going to move on. Right. I respect, we'll move on I respect right. everybody's opinion. Next artist. <laughs> Go ahead, Eric. We're going to the next artist. <laughs> we're going to the next artist. And then, we still on the West Coast now. It's about to, 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 to continue. So the next artist with the best album, in y'all opinion, it's Tupac. Tupac's best album. Listen, I know what everybody's going for, me. and I know y'all all going for that, but I'm I put me against mm. the world, and the reason why I did it, I'm going to tell you why. There's oh, one particular I'm song, lying. There's I'm one particular lying. song on that album, which is Dear Mama, and let me tell you something. My mama made me rap that on her voicemail like years ago when I was like little, so that song just kind of stood out for me, so I had to pick that album. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Actually, you. Me against the um, world. It's, it's, it's a tie for me between me against the world and all eyes on me. 
actually i got it i actually i didn't write all eyes on me because that was that was that was given but better days is a, is is to me his that's, best album that's a good one better days. he was gone at that time but better days was a great is a phenomenal fucking album well unfortunately a lot of our artists that have met the demise at an early age their best work come out after they have passed that is true. I mean, we we glorify their work more when they when they when they meet their demise. Opposed, you know what? It, it it depends too because it's not that it's glorified. It's more so they didn't get a chance to make it that far because they were killed early. In certain situations, because not I feel like but Tupac. See, the thing about Tupac was he was so influential with his music and with his acting that you didn't have to glorify him facts now on the, on the flip side i feel like victory lap was a great album when nipsey hustled before nipsey hustle died right. and he didn't he didn't get the accolades he was supposed to get before he died but now he he met now he kind of reached his demise and now all of a yeah. sudden that uh, that no agenda just pushed a little bit more because now we know he's no longer here right so mm -hmm. um tupac you have a great point i agree exactly what you said but on the flip side we have seen other people it, it didn't exactly go that same way with I, 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 I agree with you on that because even to uh pop smoke it seemed like pop after smoke. he passed he just kind of skyrocketed so i get what you're saying i, I, I think i think that happens with yeah i mean like y'all said it happens with a lot of artists that meet their demise at well we gonna say early demise in a tragedy sort of sense right like if they're, if they're killed in the street you know stuff like that you know they they tend to uh skyrocket where they're from and all this other type of stuff and man and, you know some of them reach peaks in the in the and meet uh the world as opposed to just their neighborhood so yeah i will I, I i definitely agree when it comes to that particular aspect of meeting a demise early especially in a tragic sort of way so because like even um what's what's that kid name Triple X to Tahasian, they started comparing him to Tupac when he passed away. And I was like, how? But I was like, okay, I'm going to let y'all have that. Right. But Who? I can't say that kid name. I don't know. It's 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 called Triple X. Triple X. Well, Triple X. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's porn. But anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. Why are you looking like that? Never mind. <laughs> let's we, let's 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 triple it to the comments, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> David is in the building, y'all. Who? David, and he what says, uh, "I'm born and raised down south. We mostly listen to the south music. A small percentage of us listening to listen to all coast music." And and that's that's a great that's point, David. True. And welcome oh, to the man. show, by the way, brother. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Happy to happy to see you here. Yeah. Dave was one of my, was one of my close bro, that. so I appreciate you tuning in, David. I'm not going to even say nothing and speak on that, Aaron, but I'm going to move on, okay? Okay. Let's go move on. Uh, Patty said Machiavelli. I don't know what happened. We talk after the show. Oh, no, because I know who he is. That's why I said I'm going to just leave Oh, him. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Never mind. Like um... Seven said all of Tupac albums go hard. No picks for me. I'll say all. Okay. I respect that. I respect that. Patty said, I, I wanted to that. say all two seven, but I'm trying to go with the flow. <laughs> oh Lord. Omega said all eyes on me and Machiavelli. Drago said Machiavelli. Kirk said facts. Kirk also said Victory Lap was dope, was a dope album, but when it came out. I agree. Um, I agree. It was. Seven said, "Okay, I'll say Machiavelli because I meant it meant a lot because he was gone." Okay, and mm -hmm. Kurt said, "I never liked Pop Smoke. I don't like." Okay, I mean, I mean drill music <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing with him. <laughs> um, Seven said, "Kirk, hell yeah, I loved it before he passed away." Okay. And Patty said, I hear triple X, I think porn, not rap. Like, you know what? That's exactly what Gerald said. Oh Lord. I'm not playing with y'all today. It's hot. Uh Seven also I said can't. uh XXX uh Stacion had great music. And Kirk said, I meant drill. Okay. It's ass L O L. What? 
I'm guessing he's saying drill music is ass. I guess that's what he's saying. Oh, I'm going to say, you better put a pause, my brother. <laughs> LOL. Kirk, I'm going to need you to get it together because you got me over here reading like I can't read and I know I can read. Don't end up okay. in I graduated high school in three motherfucking years with a three point. Okay. <laughs> well, we going to go to the next artist and the next artist is Mary J. Mm. My life. My life. Yeah. <laughs> it's my life. I, it was a hard decision, actually, between my life and actually what's the 411, but my life took the cake. I'm going to share my world. I'm going to just tell y'all one thing. That's a good ass. Listening know. to Mary J. Blige will have you on a motherfucking emotional roller coaster, want to smoke a cigarette, probably smoke a blunt, want to beat somebody ass, want to be in love. Not want to be in love, like oh, cause she's just an emotional roller coaster. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying her music makes you want to be on an emotional roller coaster. You, you, th- you thought Summer was Walker was? She's known. She's you thought known for showcasing her vulnerability. You thought Summer Walker was bad. Mary J is, is the pioneer of all these uh, roller coasters. I know music. that. Oh, definitely. That's facts. First of all, Mary That's had a whole bunch of, you know, he has some issues going on. So I, I get it. You wouldn't have a struggle of. But let me tell you something right now. I was struggling with her with these damn albums at this point because I was going through her emotions for her. Listening to it. At a young age. Man. Very young age. (laughs) Very. Tragic. (laughs) Let's get to the comments, man. Um, (laughs) Not too much tonight. (laughs) Drago said uh, XX Station Music was different. I agree. Sammy said, what's the 411? Omega said, my life. Kirk said, share my world. Yes, sir. Patty said, my life, my motherfucking life. Close <laughs> second. What's the 411? I agree with you, Patty. Hey, Patty, don't do that. Don't do that walk, though. That's what I'm going to say. Don't do that. Don't do that, Mary J. Walk. You better sit down tonight. No, wait, wait. Patty <laughs> said, I'm going down. Because you going down where? Around. Nothing. <laughs> Baby, my whole All right. I'm sorry. All right, See, I got caught the in next, the next oh. artist, the next artist, people. And you got to give us your favorite albums Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh, that wasn't Bone Crusher? I'm joking. I'm joking. Jo- I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to say, attention. <laughs> <laughs> my probably was the only album, but, but honestly, I don't remember. Oh, I, I, I couldn't tell you. Well, I couldn't, well that's his only shit. mainstream album. We'll just very true, I, Meech. Very I, true. I no, nah, I remember my grandmother used to say that shit. No. So I'm outside of the club. <laughs> think I'm a <laughs> Go and get my whippings out the trunk. <laughs> I ain't never scared. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in the house, nuck nuck if you buck, nigga. What? (laughs) Granny, you like, you don't know that. You ain't supposed to know that shit, but go ahead. Anyway, Bone Thugs and Harmony, who y'all got? Uh, East 1999. Art of War. War. The Art of War. Art of War, indeed. Come on now. Thug Love, look at some eyes. If I could teach the world, come on now. If I I could could teach teach the world world to be in the world. I don't don't care what nobody says. Wow. Harry, you didn't have to cut it off. I was stopping to oh, sing. I, 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 <laughs> I stay high. That's my shit. Because you get about 10 of them motherfucking plants. going to ask a dumbass question. You won't get a dumbass answer. Man. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did you say, Heaven? Um, it was actually a tie. It was between the Art of War and East 99. No, you're really getting on my nerves with these ties. I though. put East 99. Mo Murder. <laughs> But you get on my nerves with all these ties. It's like the last four artists you've had ties. It's like you got to be, <laughs> or, got or greatest hits. hits. You, you you don't want me. You don't want me to bring wait, this wait. into this. Girl, you? you let that slide right past you. You didn't hear what he slipped in with that. Really, man? Or greatest That's hits. how you feel? Which, he said which, or greatest which, which, hits. You said her last four have been ties, and he no, said okay. or greatest hits. He okay. said what? Or greatest hits. What are they? Greatest hits. 
Wow. Man, you, you, come, you, <laughs> you on your feet today, huh? You, come, well, you know, everybody <laughs> talking about they like all of them. I ain't picking shit. <laughs> At least I picked a couple. Ooh, okay. Well, like I said. Technically, we panel. We have to pick. <laughs> they don't have to pick. <laughs> exactly. Well, if I had to pick, it would still be 99 Okay. <laughs> I think you only said that because the professor said it, but okay. Go ahead to the comments. <laughs> Damn. Um, Patty said, I mean, Seven said, Patty said that was conviction. you damn right. Drago said, I can't stand Mary J. Blige. Right now. Drago, he didn't have some emotional issues and he said he can't deal with that and her at the same time. It's okay, Drago. Patty said I was not a bone crusher fan. You're not my grandmother though. I was talking about my grandmother. (laughs) (laughs) Patty said Art of War. Drago said wasn't a bone thug fan. Honestly, could not name one album. Whoa, come on, Drago. Come on, Dre. Like, really? Drago. Like, Drago. Drago. Here, Dre. Okay, listen. If you can't know, if you can't name an album, did you at least know any of the songs? It's true. Besides Crossroads. Mm-hmm. Or first of the month. Okay. So was that was that it for the uh Yeah. Comments? That was oh wait, we have one more. Uh yeah. seven said Art of War. I read that. that. Oh, you read that? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear when you read that. All right, Andre You tried to play. Right. Me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next artist, NWA. Straight out of Compton. Period. Straight out of Compton. Man. I, I'm with them. Not Gerald. You not. So let's hear your answer. No, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Like, like, like. I mean, I got both albums, and I listen to them, but. I feel straight out of Compton more than uh, niggas for life. I'm yeah. being honest. I'm being no, honest. I, so, I yeah. agree. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. So. Uh, Patty before. said straight out of motherfucking Compton. You know what, Patty? You like motherfucker. I realize. I'm that. Say, what, what is it with you? What is it with you and cursing in the in the in the uh, the, the comments? Right. Tonight? You're making a point. <laughs> that be said straight out of Compton. Hey, I saw sure. that. I saw that easy shit. Like I saw it. <laughs> I made it straight out of Compton for sure. Straight out of Compton for sure, Omega. All right. All right. Let's 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 take one fourth of the member, and we gonna go to Ice Cube. What's the best Ice Cube album? Death Certificate. Death Motherfucking Certificate. Yeah. That album By a close margin, because America's Most Wanted is actually number two. Okay. It's hard to pick between the two, but Death Certificate got, that shit got steady mobbing on it. I don't give a fuck. That's my shit. <laughs> I, I got America's Most Wanted. I feel like that them flows was raw, uh, untamed. He was mad at, uh, the you world know, he, he, he was mad at Jer- Jerry Heller. He he was mad at the the whole record label for not giving him his due. So he was a, uh, you know, the nigga you love to hate. No Vaseline. That those are hard tracks to kind of you know go against. No Vaseline is actually on. Um, oh, you know what? You're right. You're right. Now, you're right. nigga, you love to hate. That's yeah, you're shit, right. boy, don't play. Hmm. Fuck you, Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Anyway, can we go to the comments, please? Well, matter of fact, no, who the rest of y'all comments. choose? Who the rest of y'all choose? What, what did you choose, Heather? Because I didn't hear it. And it better not be your second time. He <laughs> got a tie. Got a tie. I feel like she got like no tie later. Tie, goddamn it! Hey, that album was hard. I don't care what you talk about. It was hard, but not okay. not as great as not as great as album. But it no, was hard. Not, I mean, but that's a, that's somebody's opinion. If it is though, okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Go ahead. No, actually, I do agree with uh, Gerald and Patrice in regards to death certificate. Okay, me too. You got that was a hard pick though. Mm. It was hard for me, but I, I got to say. Lethal injection. The next Friday. The next Friday. Ooh, lethal injection. Lethal injection. Ooh, lethal injection. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's ghetto bird. Oh, you ghetto know bird. how we do it. Ooh. Yeah. And I. That's what I said. This you one. Like, you don't know how to do it, man. You, 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 you need Jesus if you don't like that song. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need Jesus if you don't like that song. I don't care what nobody says. Facts. 
<laughs> but can we but can we get on the ghetto bird and go to the comments? <laughs> yeah, because Edward's stupid. He said, Where you you, you Wait, where go back at? up? Go back up. You oh, have to got, it. Okay. got it, got it. Edward said, straight out of Compton, twist up my fingers. Never mind, no finger twisting. That carpal tunnel just kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Drago said straight out of Compton was better because in for life you can feel the chemistry wasn't there. Agreed. It, it, was, it, it was very Talk rough. Shit. It. Talk it your shit, Dre. It was rough Talk on that shit, Dre. Yeah. Yes, sir. You did good. You did. I used letters this time, not the whole word. And then she said, <laughs> Oh, but you can say motherfucking though, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> she done called you out. Let me explain one motherfucking thing. <laughs> I'm on the motherfucking show with my motherfucking panel, and I say what the fuck I want in my motherfucking panel. So therefore, stay out of my business, Patty. Patty, yeah, Patty, yeah. Patty okay. drop your, okay, drop your word, that. drop your letters, Patty. Talk your shit, Patty. Come on now. <laughs> Why are you taking me serious, Patty? I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, Omega said Ice Cube, War and Peace. The Seven double, the, well, what's Seven this? Seven. Both of them, or but what this though? Oh, like, which one are you talking about? It's War and Peace. So, which this, or is it both? Mm. It ahead. might be both. And Seven said America's Most Wanted made me feel like a gangster. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I ain't mad at that said, one. And Patty said America's Most Wanted. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, <clears throat> like the niggas with no Vaseline. That's all I know. That sound like that hurt too. Ooh, we get into okay now. Whoa. Okay, but before before we continue on with these artists, we gonna take a slight break, and we gonna go to some other to another little part of the show that we like to call uh, "Finish the Lyrics." So, if Professor, if you could please be so kind. For a moment, though, sure I can. Uh, I'm gonna ask y'all. Y'all should know this, right? This this is actual question. Y'all sing along in the comments. <laughs> no, no, they ain't got to sing along to this one. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Tupac created a drink with two alcohols and named it what? What two alcohols did he? Alize and uh, uh Alize and um, and one part I'm... Hennessy, one part Alize. No, nope. uh, and it was called uh. Shit. No, you're wrong. What? The what? passion. That's the name the of it. What was it mixed with? Oh no, it was one part Alize and one part Crystal. It... There you go. It was one part Crystal, one part Alize, right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Patty said, not serious, but here I go, motherfucking, motherfucking, and motherfucker now. <laughs> I like, like that. Talk your shit, Patty. Right. <laughs> Drango, who drinks Tangeray? I actually got some in my trunk that's just been hey, you know what? The old lady gave me. I ain't drinking mm -hmm. that shit. You know what? Yo, old, 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 old women, women love Tangeray. 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 He didn't. It, it I, gotta it, be it, old women because Jen. Yeah. Hey, you, yeah, fellas, some some advice. You looking for a cougar? Pick up a bottle of Tangeray. Win it. Get some advice. Oh, you from your boy. Yeah. Oh, oh no. looking for a good one? Get some pharmacy. <laughs> nah, don't listen to her. Or her, no, I don't know at. about that one. Wherever she had on your screen. Oh, All right. Let's get let's get back to it. What, what's um, that? Where did Jill Scott say she wanted to go and do? Take a walk. Take a long walk. I said, Around where did she say she wanted to do? Thank you. Dark. Finish here. Come on. Oh. Let's take find the spot. A walk. At that point, I would have fell in the pool. Y'all would have pushed me in the pool at that point because I don't know what the fuck she was saying after that. No, <laughs> I, don't don't mean, yeah. I, I just know I, I would have caught myself at relaxation. That's all I said. Right. <laughs> By the way, I'm not going to play that game because I feel like it's going to be a situation where I re don't remember the song at that very moment and I'm going to get dumped. Just don't play with that. Nothing. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, y'all gotta finish this because we was singing this song. Drifting on a memory. Ooh, ain't, ain't no place I'd rather be but with you. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. Loving, loving you. you. 
Well, well, well. Okay, come on. Finish the lyrics. Come on. Day will what? They will, what is it, wait for they night? They will make oh, a shit. way of night. Ooh. I, I got back on y'all. Oh, we need this candle light. Come on, y'all oh, gotta, yeah. gotta remember y'all shit. Something. Come on in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Okay. No. That's where my that's where my ad libs will come in at. I'm going hey. old Kanye on y'all, and you gotta finish it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And it's not really Kanye, but it's more like the girls in the song, and it's the workout plan. So thanks to Kanye. Come on, finish. Workout plan. Keep them hips and high. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, oh I do not remember that part. Oh, I don't know that song. Oh, I know it, but I don't know it. Damn. Damn. I always skip workout plans, so that I, that was never a song. Out as soon as the violins start playing, I like skip. No, you know, it's like one and two and three. No, it's thanks to Kanye workout plan. I'm the envy of all my friends. Now I got me a baller man. Come on, y'all gotta remember the lyrics. I don't remember the lyrics. Okay, not the workout plan. Okay, okay. okay I got a question. Go. If it's five o'clock in the morning, where you gonna be? I'm in my drop top. That's seven o'clock. Oh, sorry, my bad. Five o'clock in the morning. Sorry, my bad. My bad. It's five in the morning. Oh, it's on oh. sex with you. No. We're all wrong. We're all five wrong. Five o'clock in the morning. Where you gonna be? Outside on the corner. Come on. What? Uh, what song was that? Oh. Five o'clock by Nonchalant. Oh, nonchalant. Oh, oh, my bad. Oh, right. Okay. Damn. Well, wait, before, yeah, before, before, before we get back to it, I got, uh, I got one for y'all. Yeah, I got one go for y'all. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. We about to, but now it's my turn. So we about to pick which party you're going to be in. And this is the, <laughs> this is the nasty part. This is the nasty part of the show. So nasty. In, in, in one house, we got Stroke You Up by I Change Don't Place. Mind. I didn't say sing. I don't mind. But in Kinda house eight, he got stroke you up. I don't know what Andrew version Christmas. of that song was, but don't ever sing it again, Meech. That sounds like a Mark Brook inspired type song or something. I don't. It was a yeah, sheep version. Mad. Okay. <laughs> you stupid. All right. Oh, in, house, in house eight, in house eight, we got stroke you up, change your faces, freak me by Silk, and Red Light Special by TLC. And in house B, we got Juicy by Pretty Ricky, Ride It by Sierra, and Lay Your Body Down by Pretty Lily. I'm going Which house, house, house A. Going house, 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 house A. House what? House A. House A. House A. Wow. Lay your body oh, down. I want to touch your body. That's my shit, but I'm going to house party A. Whatever. Okay. So one, just one more before we get back to the. Uh, then I gotta the, get the comments before you. Uh, okay, go ahead. No, 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 I'm saying you're gonna do one, and then after you finish this one, then I'll go to the comments. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so in house A, we got just clowning by Dub C. We can freak it by Corrupt, and California Love by Tupac. Ooh. House B, we got If I Rule the World by Nas, Juicy by Biggie. And who do you love by LL? I'm still going to house, say, yeah, yeah. Still going like, a, like a West Coast party because the West Coast party don't stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. House party B was dope, but that LL Cool J threw it off for me. It, it killed it. Yeah, if you would have somebody really? else, okay. Well, two teachers on that. Teachers. that, that we can freak it by corrupt though. Whew. We Boy. can freak it. Freak it. You can't get Dub C just clowning. <laughs> okay, let's go to the com let's go to the comments. Okay, Patty said Jim makes you sin. How would you know? Never mind. Don't answer that. Oh wait, there we go. Got it. <laughs> you know what? You get on your job, Heather. No, I had it. You <laughs> didn't. Uh, Seven said women who drink Tangeray have deep voices and beards. Not true. How Not you true. do? Hey. Not true. 
They be in church. I'm an alto, not sneaking. Oh, no Shabambu. <laughs> <laughs> Penny says, I agree, Seven, because Jen is bleh, you're right. Draco y'all, not says, old, y'all not old enough yet. Y'all not mature enough. Draco says, side note, have y'all seen the Black Panther trailer? Not yet, know. but I will be watching after. Uh, Draco, yeah, that was definitely yeah. a side note, random as hell, but no. Uh, Seven said, I need y'all to harmonize as one. This ain't Sister I- Act. First you know, of all, I can't go to know if it was in my hand, so that ain't gonna happen. We talk uh, your shit. We not the we not the choir, the mass choir. Right. <laughs> Jacob said, please. "I'm the envy of all my friends." <laughs> he said, "Never have to work at the mall again." <laughs> <laughs> Patty said, "Give head, stop, breathe, get up, check your weave." Thank you. Is that the Kanye song? Yeah, that's the Kanye yes. song. Okay. Uh, Seven Thank you, Patty. House A. That's for, for the that, first one. That's for the first question. Uh, house B for sure. Omega said for the first one. For the one. first question. Patty said any house with red light special is my house. First of all, I take that a whole different way. So I don't know. Um, I think this is referring to the second one. Because seven. This is the second one. one. So this is the second one. Yeah. So seven said house A. Z said house A. Z, you quiet tonight. Right. Kirk, I was getting ready to say that. We are here. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. Uh, right. Kirk said house A. He also said, I can't even cap LOL. Patty says, I want LL and Nas in one house. They are in one house. Well, now she answers B. I don't think she meant it like that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> she mm, I don't think she meant the question. I'm going to tell you right now, me and Nas share the same birthday. That's my birthday twin right there. That's my boy. All right. Let's Nas get back to these. Here, let's get back to these artists and Wait, we got one more. Hold okay. on. Uh, Drago said, My house is Slytherin, but house A. I'm not playing with you. All right, Drago, your house is not Slytherin. Stop lying. It's not. You in the same house as Malfo? What did I say you said his name? <laughs> he's not a Slytherin. I can tell you that much. And he knows he's not. Mm-mm. He okay. wants to be one so bad. Uh, Patty said, I didn't mean it. That nasty way, sir. I'm talking musically. <laughs> okay. you, you forgot an artist, just so you know that in that house B, you only said Patty two. Just of gonna keep checking. Big, big easy in that house too, Patty. That, that's that's all I was saying. Oh wait. However, LL though, mm-mm. y'all ever notice LL don't never show his ears? Is always tucked in his hats. Especially in NCIS. I know. <laughs> I nowadays. Always with that beanie. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so the next artist to pick the best album is In Vogue. In Funky Divas. Vogue. Funky Divas. Funky Divas. <laughs> what you got born to sing? <laughs> yep. I got hey, I got born to sing. It's all that one. Hey, 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 double like you, you ain't the only one, brother. We we hear me. He ain't sure how, Pat, Patty on y'all side too. Patty said, "Born to sing." Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about me and right here, but we here. I can't be bad at all. Like I said, "Born to sing," your fucking they both cold ass albums. Just your preference at the end of the day. So they both hot ass albums. So we got. Is there anything else coming? Anything else coming, Professor? Before we move on? No, sir. All right. Let's get to the next one. This one. Tony Tony Tone, best album. Tony Tony Tone, the revival. Mm. I got a tie. It says Sons of Soul. I, that's that's the my revival. tie. The I got revival. a tie between the revival. Lay your head on my son, hello. Son of Soul, Sons of Soul. Sons of Soul. I can't pick between. I would tie. I would tie them up, but I wouldn't just give it to Sons of Soul. I'm sorry, I can't. Not I can't just revival. give it to Sons of Soul. That's just me. Like honestly, I, I, what made it win for me for Sons of Soul, like over everything else, was it was by one song, and that was Slow Wine. And for me, it was one song that made the revival win, which was Whatever You Want. Take mm. my mind. I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. My house and my car. All right. Wait, Who you got, Meach? We done drop. We done hey, jump come roots. Come on now. Right. Uh, I, I, I gotta you give, know that I one is. I know. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I gotta give it to Sons of Soul. Also, I mean, if I had no loops, slow one anniversary. Mm. So we basing everything off of one song. 
No, is it? I mean, the albums are hard, but like I said, people giving it slight margin off of one song. Let's let's keep it all the way up a uh, hundred right now. A lot oh, of them shit. songs on Tony 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 wasn't great songs. You and your boat in a boat on your own. I'll be in my boat. I'll be in my boat. to drown. Yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, yeah, you selling, brother. We we ain't gonna sit here. We ain't gonna sit here and listen and say y'all listen to Tony 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 from cover to cover. Yes, the I have. I do. Yes, I do. I have every every album. I have not every not single album, album. Not but the two, but the two, but the three, the first three. Yes, I listen okay. to cover to cover. Okay. We gonna skip this one. Okay, let's just say so in no, revival. No, 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 in revival, they got feels good. Come on now. If it really feels good to you, baby, let me hear you sing. Okay, that, that that's 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 a, that's, a, that's forever gonna be a a, a hit. Okay. We, we, we gonna see that. At your, we gonna see that at your funeral, professor. It never rains in Southern California. Again, yeah. you naming hits. Kind of hard. But this is on the album that I, I did. That I'm so I'm telling I, you, it's not based off of one song for me. I'm giving you my songs. Okay. Well, so are you saying like we need hit gems? Is that what you're whatever saying? Whatever you want. Was <laughs> another song. Okay, but you're not. You're not. You're not even going down. You're not even going in in, in, in chronicle order. Feels good. Great song, probably one all of the, the greatest way. songs. All the way, it was a was a was an okay song. Oakland Stroke featuring Vanessa Williams. Didn't like that song that much. Thank you, thank you. Like that's that all. Song. That's, all, that's, that's no, all I'm but saying. But I'm gonna tell you like this: the blues, the blues is my shit though. Blues is a, the, the blues is a great song. Let's have a good Let's have a good time. It was an okay song. It never raised the California. Speaks for itself. Whatever you want speaks for itself. I care. I'm. I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> no, I, uh, I care. Was hot. What are you talking about? I <laughs> then, like I said, all it's, 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 it's even more. It's even more crazy. You the only one that said it was a hot song. What the rest but of the like I said, I love music though. So therefore, that's why I listen to it. At the end of but, the day, but that, that's the beauty of everybody having an opinion about it. I mean. But what but I'm like saying, a, what I'm like saying, but what he's not about to do is just be like, oh, all the songs except the good. Wait, wait. <laughs> time, time out, time out, time out, time out. I never said 2020 20 was trash. I no, just, I'm not even saying that. I didn't, I didn't say. I feel trash. like 2020 20 is a great is a great group, is a great great artist, um, a, a great group of guys who came together who made great music. I just feel like there's a lot of filler music, a lot of filler tracks on their albums. It wasn't great cover to cover music. I had skipped a couple times while listening to those listening to those songs, and and it's not that it, it was not like the music was bad, but I feel like we put Tony 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 in a upper category based on their was, great great catalog no, of music. It's they, not, it's they, not they even hit. that too, because this is why I tell everybody: it's not just the music. I look at the artists as well, and then the artists uh, independently, because Raphael Sadiq, the music that he's written. Cause he's wrote a lot of music for the actual group and then for other artists yeah I, again i, I can't I, I i can't speak against that because that's that's very much the truth but let's just be 100. a lot of rafael sadiq albums didn't like his solo projects really didn't go as high as what people thought they would go because that's a lot of people true, don't but that doesn't a lot of people don't true. don't understand really rafael sadiq as an artist they might understand him as a writer or they might understand him or as tony 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 but they don't understand him saying. Like and I went back and listen. I'm a I'm a big Raphael Sadiq fan. So again, this is not me beating up on Tony 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 or Raphael Sadiq because I like their music. I just feel like we kind of I feel like they got put more. We like them more for for hits on albums where it really wasn't cover to cover albums. That that was great to me. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but like I said, now going back to your Raphael Sadiq point saying that you know because like i say a lot of people didn't understand him as an artist or whatever but that doesn't mean he didn't put out good music just because it didn't that's a fact I, I, so, I, 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 <laughs> and it's the same thing with tony 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 because like i said you might not understand what they were what how should i say what they were 
trying to do or trying to say but at the same time it may speak to you in a different way like it spoke to me in a different way so that's the reason why i said i can listen to them cover to cover because it spoke to me in different ways because i love their music at the end of the I, day i think we're i think we're both saying the same thing in just different languages honestly i, I, okay. I, I don't i don't want it, i don't want anybody well, whether on the panel I or i gotta speak english okay well I, I don't want anybody on the panel or in the comments think that i'm saying rafael sadiq or tony 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 was a bad was bad made bad music i think it was great at what they did i just feel like some of them tracks on them albums really wasn't what i expect like, I, I, so that's clarification so i get what you're saying because the way you said it at first it was like they was pretty much garbage no 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 never and never that, in a million that, never in a million that. years never well, in a million so years what i was saying 2020 so is garbage okay so we yeah, get it. Really, like i said i just think that you, it, it you makes know, some of the songs sense. that they were building on what the Westman, but you felt the singles and you felt the uh the the greatest hits part of it the greatest yeah. hits I mean, aspect yeah, of it yeah. which is fine which is fine i just think it's a little different personally you have a difference between people who only just listen to the mainstream songs and they're okay with that versus you know fans fans like gerald who listened to the full albums and actually did find other songs but, that they like it, it is but, a different no I, but, but I time out time out i wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that either because I, I i did listen to all their music i just feel like if we're gonna sit here and say 2020 is a great group i'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and just say that some of their music on them albums wasn't great songs to me so if it, 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 it was a, a point well taken well taken can, can I, can I, if, if, let's just use a scenario if we, if we put uh 2020 20 in the versus with drew hill who y'all choosing 2020 20 or drew hill really? i wait really <laughs> you really want me to answer this question yes <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. that's what i'm saying that's what i'm picking okay who would you take uh who, who, who would the rest of y'all take because i'm taking drew hill you know what? It's hit and miss for me because there's certain songs I like by them and I don't like, and, and vice versa. So you do you have an answer? Yes so or it, no? No, because it all comes down to what particular songs they sing. If okay, Heather, you if, if, between twenty twenty Tony and Drew Hill, who you got? Meech, who you got? <laughs> Quickly now, I have to say by by close margin, I'll say Tony, Tony, Tony. Okay, I respect it. Okay, now we have to answer real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kirk. I hear you though. Know, I hear you. Got a lot. I hear you, bro. We, Kirk we, said we the revival most definitely. Patty said that head on my pillow though, <laughs> and then Kirk laughed. Seven said I agree with Double A and Tony Tony Tone. Not that great. I know a couple of songs, but that's it uh kurt responded to that by saying yeah i mean laugh out loud it's just a few i didn't really listen to them guys and that's understandable uh seven said drew hill will win that because if you're not a super fan of tony tony tone you won't know the songs outside of what's played on the radio and then patty says i love some drew hill but i'll go with tony tony tony's in a verse okay all right we can go on on but, I'm a, but i'm a fan of both though I'm a fan I'm of both. I, 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 listen, I, I listen to everything I, they play. I honestly feel like Drew Hill, I, I feel like Drew Hill gonna drag Tony 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 in my opinion. Now uh, by default, drag I feel like is a drag. drag? I wouldn't say drag. drag. I would not say drag. I, I feel like I, I feel like if it, well, I don't even know if Tony 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 got 20 songs even going to verses, to be real with you. Okay. Oh, wait, the the only way I can see drew hill dragging them is if it's vocally that's the only way i can see i can't, them I, can't even, I, I won't even say that i just i, I Cause just all I, the because all the drew hill can sing say granted rafael's d can get gets busy too but i don't think i think far as vocally they'll, they'll they can drag them but music wise no nah. and i would say that, I mean, listen i would say this i won't say they will drag them because that's a stretch because that's basically saying like they just ain't got nothing that's no no Okay, but, maybe but maybe drag, drag is a bad is. word, but maybe drag no, is a bad say a word. Drag. I mean, there's a margin of they could possibly win, but I wouldn't say drag because still Tony 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 got a lot of shit under their belt. And then not to not to mention, it's not just the albums too. If you really want to go that route, because if they decide to I mean, play, you, have too. you know, remember verses is not just what you've sung. 
Yeah, it's never mind. Never, never mind. Because I feel like you go for everybody, so never mind. All right. <laughs> like I say, they got, on, they got shit on soundtracks out in uh, Sadiq by itself. Shit, all I ask of you? Yeah. This is a nice argument, but a nice debate. But we go keep oh, pushing. Wait, we got two more. We got two more comments, and then you can go to the next. Drago said, well, three. Marvel Drew Hill fan seven said that would be a good versus though. Okay, that would. And then Patty said it really would be a damn good versus. Hmm. Okay. Well, versus you heard it here first. Cut the check. We did that. So oh, <laughs> we by the way versus. Well, sorry, well, sorry, Aaron. We are we speaking but, French but, now on the show? Okay, but I'm 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 gonna go my I'm gonna go on my pebbles moment. I need eighty percent though. You get that twenty. But anyway, <laughs> damn. This is anyway. Next, white, next, next, next. Uh, artist. Mint condition. Definition of a band. It's from oh, the so Mint Factory for me. Yeah. What you say? From the Mint Factory. Yeah, spoken spoken like a true mint condition. <laughs> <laughs> it's definition of a band for me though. This definition of a band, though. Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't pick it. I didn't pick an album. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> do you got the same? Do you got the same? Uh, you got the same thoughts about me condition too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, wait. Both y'all are anxious. Oh no, shit! Oh, I got it. I got, I got to bring up the Mountain Dew for this one. Um, oh, no, I, I don't. I don't feel the same way about mid condition. Um, we are, we're gonna go to the to the comments. So. <laughs> yeah, just go to the comments. Look, we only got one comment, so we're gonna get back to you, Aaron. Uh, Patty said, "Definition <laughs> of a motherfucking band, baby." Now, moving back to you, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> What's so horrible about me? I didn't say nothing horrible about me. Condition. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, 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 Next artist, next artist. <laughs> he thinks. So it is, it is, we just go drag time, just sit there waiting. On it. All you don't do is get that time. So who, who next, we got next? <laughs> boys the men. Oh, Cooley High Harmony. What? Why you ain't them niggas, huh? Like, wait, is my name Michael Sean and what's it's up? Name, name. It's it's Wanye, Sean. Michael, uh, Michael Nathan Nathan there it is there it is that's exactly who it is it's Nathan that's the, that's the, that's the original one now, you go to Vegas nowadays you don't get uh are you getting Michael are you getting no you don't even get Michael no you that's get Sean Wanye and Nathan okay. they got a new member too I don't know his name no more oh okay okay, okay. okay. Is so it that's, I don't know I'm just mm-hmm. trying to give out the name <laughs> but what's 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 the best uh what's the name album the Buzz Boys the Men album. Two. Two. Sorry. I got a tie. I got I a tie. I said Cooley High Harmony. I, I got Evolution. That, you know, believe it or not, that was like my my like my second CD I ever bought. You just told me you was gonna say one of y'all was gonna say evolution. Yes. Evolution and two is my tie, but yeah, evolution evolution is like my second CD I think I ever purchased. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what third because my first ever, I, my first one going to the store buying my own thing. I, I I bought a dog pound cassette tape. That was my first ever. Second was uh, a Barry White CD. Third was uh, a a, a Boys to Men. <laughs> Barry White, for real? Yeah. You that, that is what you preach. <laughs> th- that that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Hey, that's all bang. I don't give what. That's all. That's the shit. I don't care what nobody talking about. Oh, <laughs> I don't know shit. Wait, the music. Of, it was the accuracy of, of the recollection for me. Patrice, that's yeah. Yeah. that is what you preach. Shit, you you Where got your mind. Head? You ain't fucking with that. Feeling good. So, she, she said she had a headache. So, I would have loved her input on this one. Oh, no, Mama Cookie, we praying yeah, for you. Feel better. 
You don't feel better, mama. You feel better, mama. She catch the reruns. Yeah. Yeah. And then comment. Well, still comment. will comment. Still <laughs> watching live. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on my notification. Notification. I'm getting confused when she answered because you like, what the hell is she talking about? But, right. <laughs> But yeah, she 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 had a headache. She wasn't feeling too good. Meech, what was your answer? I picked two. Oh, you picked two. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess so. Be well, better. let's go to let's go to the uh, let's go to the comments before we. Oh wait, 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 wrong one. You know what, Heather? There we go. <laughs> no, go up one more. God damn it! Seven said double pick was his silence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Patty said, "Damn, Aaron." Just all against the groups. Uh, Patty said, I, I'm not Boy, against the group. I'm not against Patty the group. said, Boys and men, everything, all of them, the whole lot, every each and every mucho. That's a lot, Patty. Over your tongue twisters and shit. Uh seven said boys and men, and then Kirk laughed. But what is your answer, Kirk? <laughs> really, Kirk. Wait, please let us know. All right. Next person, Tony. Braxton. Self-titled album. Secrets. Self. Self-titled. Mm. Self-titled. Mm, I have to say secrets. Who, who you got? Uh, why I got to pay for 18 people? Aaron <laughs> 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 do not want to give his answer. <laughs> I just said self-titled. You yeah. said he, did, he did say yeah, something. He, he did say that though. Now, you ain't reading the comments. I'm only against the, the but, boy group. So. But honestly, oh. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go with secrets. I gotta go with secrets on that one. I gotta go okay. with secrets. Right, so it's, it's split between two albums. We can. I can dig it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so what, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the third one? Hey, uh, the heat. The heat after or some shit like that. Uh, the heat. Uh, yeah, it was huh? the heat. It's the heat. The heat. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that album one good? It was good, but it don't compare to the, the other two. The, the, the I'm gonna be, okay. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not a Tony Braxton fan at all. I can't stand her voice. But that's just me. Oh. You just wasn't mad enough for me. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe her voice well, was too good mad because I'm a woman. I was gonna say <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, Tony, Tony had heads. I don't care. Anybody no, no, no. Listen, no, no, no. See, you, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, Patty, 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 I need you, you in the motherfucking go comments, Patty. He didn't go hard for Tony, but he didn't go hard for Tony. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I never said Patty, I'm mean, Patty, get me saying Patty, Lord Jesus. I never said that Tony could not sing, and I never said she didn't have hits. I just said I never was a fan of her because I just didn't like her voice. Does not mean that she cannot sing. This that's just my preference. She had a lot of hits. Just one like person low, I wanted to like listen that to. Low register. No. Hey, hey. <laughs> no. At least you're honest about it. I mean, a whole lot of people don't like the low register singing voice of hers. just me. But let me get to these comments right quick, because Kirk over there got his hand on his head and he cracking up laughing. And he's still in the already. Uh, Patty said Tony Braxton self-titled the best. Kirk said, laugh my ass off. <laughs> Seven said that he. Oh. oh. <laughs> Kirk said, Tony best song was With My Hands Tied. Um, Draco said, Tony Braxton was a modern day Anita Baker. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> he said, I love her. Uh, and you can minute. love it. And I don't, so hey, it's uh, all right. man, I'm going what, back what to her. Day, Anita Baker. Really? You that was her best. Both, song? both of them, both of them last two comments. Y'all, I respect her your opinions. Mm-hmm. I respect your opinions. No, no, no we're gonna do, do that. We're gonna do that. Do you? I, I, all right, whatever. We're gonna move on. No, 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 no wild <laughs> comments. Your bottom man, Anita Baker, oh, has a wild wow. comment, and her best song ever is. Hands tied. No. Wow. Best Dang. song ever. You no, know never mind. Let me not say no. Everybody has their opinion. Everybody has their opinion. Let it go. I mean, All right. That's, that's next, the next, next artist. Next artist, people. But for best album. That, in your opinion. <laughs> Brandy. Never say never. Never say never. <laughs> never I said, say never. I said full moon. <laughs> 
I'm there. <laughs> I said, boo boo. I could have seen if you said Brandy, because Brandy and Never Say Never was like close. Was was very but close. close. But, but full, full, full moon is third never. for me. I don't care what nobody talking about. My man. Never say never. You didn't even say full moon is number one. Hey, you know your pick is bad with me said fuck your pick now. That's that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh. I don't give a damn. My opinion is my opinion. Go Hold up, wait, Kurt. You don't, okay. don't say shit talking Look. about my hand side is the best Tony Wait, 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 wait. Don't so, say shit. Oh. Kurt, Kurt said, by Heather, laugh out loud, full moon was trash can. But my hand yeah, side was the best Tony Braxton. Well, guess what? Y'all on the same bus dance. So what are we talking about? <laughs> Seven, <laughs> Seven, Brandy. Share the same Drake said, <laughs> never say never 10 out of 10. Draco said full moon have one good song. Okay. <laughs> I mean, at least he, that is facts. <laughs> we even got a lie. Never We're not going to agree. Let's move on. No, but, and no, but, he, no, but, he, no, but listen. In that he song, is, he is in that song, Brandy was hitting song. Lil' Kim before Lil' Kim was hitting it. What happened? Say Brandy was hitting that in, in that song before Lil' Kim was hitting it. Well, if we want to be technical, if we want to be technical, um, Missy Ellie hit it before all of them, especially she what she's doing. Missy Ellie was busting rhymes. She's showing the fuck did. Wait, we got a couple more comments. Patty said, "I'm not much of a Brandy fan," but with that said, I played the fuck out of Full Moon. Seven said, "I, I like, like Full Moon look too." At, though. Look, at, look, at, like look at the fan club. That's how. Heather, you the ring leader of the fan club. So but then, guess what? Never say never the soul he is is good. Like the soul he is is fire. But well, guess okay. guess what, Kirk? You still by yourself, bro? Because nobody else said hands tied. But people got on this comments and said Full Moon was a good album. So, Kirk, I guess you still stand by yourself with a bad a bad decision. <laughs> you shared the seat. You, you shared the seat with Heather, right? <laughs> anyway, next person. If we gotta go Brandy, we gotta go Monica. So Monica, I, it's a tie for me with two two albums. This is my first tie. Don't judge my life, but I got the Boys Mind and Makings of Me. After the storm, yeah. her best album to me. It was actually best. <laughs> Aaron, I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. Mm -hmm. I just read your name. Wait, wait, oh. wait. You just read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been noticed that. Like, like, um, Meech, what was your, what was your, uh, what was your, uh, answer? After, after the storm. Oh shit. Okay. <sighs> say after the storm. After I say it. Okay. You know what? I you know what? I bump I bump after the storm more than any other album. Um, any other Monaco album. Don't so that. I think, nothing. So I, I think I'm not gonna lie, I bumped the boy's mind from album, not the actual song, but the album. The album is hard, the album is good. That's I think I mean, that's her second best album. Well, no, well, no, yeah, it is. That's her second best album, and I kind of and miss it's kind of twi between that and Miss Thing, honestly. For me, Miss Thing is definitely for me. For but me. see, are you saying Miss Thing because of don't take it personal? No, I actually listened to that whole album from front to back. You know what? I ain't gonna lie to you. Miss Thing probably was Monica's rawest material. Like I feel like when she was trying I mean, to make yeah, a name for that herself, was, that, that, that material. Like if Monica ever goes back into making music again, I would probably want to see that Monica, even though I know that's long gone now. But um, I think that was the rawest form of Monica we ever seen was on Miss Thing. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, however, I'm, I'm after the storm. I, I think you know that's when Monica was sexy as fuck. You know, she had them them white strap sandals that laced all the way up to her, you know her her shin. You know, at that time she was just doing karate and shit. She was a different person. <laughs> but she, you know, she kicked down the door and slapped your bitch, yeah, or chick, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I mean, after the storm. <laughs> all right, let's let's get past the storm and go to the comments. <laughs> Oh Lord, Kirk said most definitely after the storm. Seven said Miss Thing. Patty said after the motherfucking storm. That album was die fired. <laughs> motherfucking. Kirk said still standing was my favorite. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> Kirk said chill, lol, and then he's cracking up laughing. 
Still standing, know. still standing, bro. Okay. Nah, I'm sitting. All right. <laughs> Next artist. Uh, still standing had love all over me. That that was a great song by Monica. Okay. Mm-hmm. You didn't Next like it. <laughs> Next artist is Whitty Hutton. Who? I mean, Whitney Houston. I'm <laughs> and I'm going to go with her self title album, but I'm going with the Whitney Houston, not Whitney. I Whitney agree. Houston. Same album, her first album, Whitney Houston, in 1985. You give me good love, Whitney Houston. Mm hmm. John, put me in on that. Put me in on that too. Her first, her first album. Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh lord. Oh lord. Here we go. Hey, look. Play just with me and get it over with. <laughs> I, I got the I got the preacher's wife soundtrack. <laughs> All right, now nah, I'm joking. I, I'm, I'm, joking. I'm joking, y'all. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, the bodyguard oh, album was fire, bro. I ain't gonna Wait, lie. Wait, before, before we go to Play anything, line, hold on. Patty said, "Okay, y'all, this has been fun. Y'all keep my Saturdays interesting." But back to these coins. Bye, Patty. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your motherfucking it's night. It's- <laughs> Thank you. Have a great motherfucking night. And <laughs> great motherfucking morning. And thank you. Get them coins, here. motherfucker. And, and thank you for getting that motherfucking, motherfucking bag. Get going, motherfucker. And we'll see you on the, mother, the next motherfucking show. In two this motherfucking week. weeks. <laughs> go, go ahead. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, just, let's get through the comments. Uh, Heather, go up one to Drago. Gotcha. And he said, I just want to dance with somebody always going to be the shit. And then he said the bodyguard album was one of my favorites. Seven said right. I like her comeback album, but I forgot the name released in 09, I believe. I think that was just Whitney. Uh, I think that was just Whitney. Though. I think that was just, yeah, probably. I look, I look to you. Oh, oh yeah. you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah that is, that is. Ooh, I know that song. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh Kurt said bodyguard soundtrack <laughs> and start cracking up laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's a, that was a good ass moment. It wasn't our best, but it was a good album. Patty gave the heart smiley eyes to y'all because y'all was all kinds of motherfuckers and motherfuckers. Okay, well, goodbye, okay. motherfucker. So, <laughs> this, this motherfucker. <laughs> now the next motherfucker is <laughs> E motherfucking four. So, yes, my ghetto report card. Period. You know what? People in the Bay would hate y'all right now. Man, I'm going. I'm going with the whole thing. I'm sorry. I, oh, wait, 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 wait. Time, time, time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Well, Meech, who did you say? The hall. Of, the hall of game. Who? Okay. This is the oh, element. Of, dollar, the billion, element of spot. spot the, ring the it. Element of surprise. Oh. All right. You know I talk shit to y'all. Even though I talk shit to y'all, I'm, I'm gonna say my my, my ghetto report card too. And in second, I'm gonna go uh, breaking news. Walla walla bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, you know, I feel like my ghetto report card hit worldwide a little bit tougher than all the other CDs did. Like, not to say them other CDs wasn't great CDs because they was, but I feel like. The Hall of Game was hard. I, don't think you it, I, I feel like E40 really got put on the map worldwide with my ghetto report. When, when my ghetto report for sure. But, you know, it, it sucks that it took him down there 18 albums, some of them mainstream, some of them in, in the trunk, some of them on the side of the road for him to get to my ghetto report card. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like after watching the verses, they still, he still don't get his respect that he de- definitely deserves. So, Thanks. It's all you know. true. Definitely. Um, Kirk says revenue retrieving day shift and says we knew who E40, I guess, was okay. Nobody said y'all didn't know. Well, we feel it. You know what? I'm not gonna get into that because we're not gonna have a whole discussion about that. Good, let's get on that, Kirk. Okay, all right. Now, before we before we get to these next artists, Professor, can we get, can we get some sing the lyrics? 
Oh, let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Walla, 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 bang, bang. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, my block I got, okay. Um, Hopefully we know this shit. What kind right. of girl did LL Cool J say he wanted to have? A roundaway girl. Oh, but how did he want her? Oh, um, shit. That's an apartment. Extensions in her hair, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, you, thank you for saying that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Baby Harry's at least in two her pair. hair. Double earrings, at least two pair. A Fendi bag and a bad attitude. Hey. Mm -mm -mm. This need to get me in a good mood. Who walking? I'm, I ain't going no far. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my elbow. My name is Elbow Fiends. I'm about to lick my lips. I'm about to lick my lips and get an apple. Oh, God. Um, this guy. It was way more than a crush. Yeah. Let's see. I got one question for you. What was Mary J. Blige searching for? Real love. I'm searching for that real love. Someone to share my heart with real love. Hold on. I'm searching for that real love. It's crazy. Back in high school, I had this this textbook. It was called Real Love. And every time I had to borrow it from my from my uh my, my neighbor, I was like, "Hey, bro, let me get that real love." Hey. <laughs> I'm searching for it. Go ahead, my bad. Okay, let's do this one. Um, let's see if y'all can remember this part. Uh, Outcast said, and we all the coolest motherfuckers on the planet. Oh, and mama, no. and oh. the sky's falling, they don't need to panic. Ooh, ooh, the sky's falling, they don't need to panic. Ooh, I got the stick. I got the stick, but one to automatic. I'll get started. I'll finish it, Paul. I'm just so crazy. <laughs> so so clean, clean. I, would, okay, I really um, wish they could see that. I wish they could see my feet work. <laughs> 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 oh, you're so stupid. That was my shit. I don't even want to know Okay, come on. It's almost time for us to wrap it up. Okay. All right, we got one. All right. All right. We gonna skip past the next one, but yeah, pick a good one. We gonna, all right. So, next artist, DJ Quick, best album. Rhythm is Quick is the name. Mm. Safe and sound, and mm. it's a close margin with that in rhythmism. <laughs> I, I Those are mine, and, and uh, Quick is the name. I said balance the options. What? Wow. Then, wow. But it was Damn. a hard time, but rhythm was, rhythm was, sorry. Wait a minute. But it was definitely I, balanced I, out. I did not expect that one. I didn't expect that one either. That's crazy. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Let me, that, let me uh, go to that album real quick. I'll be I have right personal back. ties to that. That's why. But oh. definitely. Okay. All right. So when your boyfriend's okay, like, that, 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 no, my brother actually used to bump that album like every single day. No, cause I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. Sexuality on that song is my, on that album is my shit. So yeah. But oh, and uh, do I love her? Do I need her? Do I take her when the young? Hey, you know what? Balancing yeah. options was a, was a great album. Yeah, this album was hard. I have to go back and look. I have to go back and look. I was like, Aaron, oh, go look at Quick as the name. Just go look at Quick as the name. No, no, no. I, I know, I know, I know. But like, I was really, I was ready to, to bury Heather in, in the dirt. <laughs> In the motherfucking <laughs> dirt. Like, you said, better go back to that album, my nigga. No, 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 no. Yeah. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I send my apologies. Why did you group? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, Mossberg was on on a couple tracks on there and everything. Yeah. So yeah, you know. Hey, uh, balance and options was was the shit. So excuse me, excuse yeah. my ignorance. Yeah, what, what's up? <laughs> right. I can't front. I was about to All put right, you so in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dirt. The Should dirt. Do you have any comments before we? Uh, Kirk said, "Better not mess up cast." LOL. Ain't nobody messing up outcast. Okay. Should we okay. do that okay. as the last Outcast's one? The dopest. I honestly think outcast is the dope is the dopest yeah, rapper. Let's I do that as the last one. All right. What? So that's the last one. We have outcast. come to the end of talk to <laughs> you. You're not here. What the hell? I just said. No, I didn't. What you said? 
I oh, said so last. Who, who wants to do Outcast as the last? Outcast as the last one. As the last I, one. I know. I know. You said, "Oh, you don't want Outcast as the last." I one? said, "I do." You went into the <laughs> talking about the end. <laughs> so. No, I'm about to say we about to oh, give our final remarks. Seven so, said, "Yes, Heather Wright hits on there." Responded well, back. Enough. So that's all right, yeah. Gerald. You you missed it, bro. Anyway, <laughs> we have come to the end of talk your shit. <laughs> 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 Still ain't giving up. <laughs> so okay, I got a question. Do you guys want a part two to this? Yeah, so let us know in, in the, the comments. comments. Let us know if you want a part two to this because we have way more artists, but our time is we got up. way more artists and way more right. artists to go, way more artists to put out and way more artists to go. So y'all want a part two? Let us know. Put let it to in, in the comments. Comment. Yeah, if y'all want a part two, put it to in the comment. Okay. Uh okay. we gonna go, we're gonna start off with our uh our creator, Heather B, final remarks. So per usual, thank you everyone for tuning in, showing your support to us, sharing, liking, giving your opinions uh, to the albums that we mentioned, specifically to the artists that we mentioned. Um, final remarks, music is life. No matter what you like, no matter what you don't like, music is literally life. It holds our memories, it holds our emotions, it holds everything. So no matter what you like, music is a part of you. What? God damn it! It's what he just said. <laughs> he said rhythm is life, and like I'm not fucking with you. Looking <laughs> okay, like a true West Coast legend, baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which we probably will mention him on the next on the part two. So be ready. All right. Next person, Professor. Final remarks, please. Um. Keep in mind that music is the gateway to everything, whether you believe it or not. Um, everybody has their opinions about music. You don't have to like it, just respect it. You know, if you like something that somebody doesn't like, you can argue your opinion, but at the end of the day, let them be who they are. Um, remember, a lot of artists that you don't like or you choose not to mess with, just remember that they have written a lot of songs for other people, too. So when you exclude them from things, exclude that music as well. That's all I'm saying. There but um, abilities, I'm just saying. We hear you. We hear you. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. You know what, Gerald? I was at peace. But you know what? You about to make me punch you through the damn camera. You know my nerves. You no, was You was at peace where you at now. <laughs> I'm about ready to punch him. I'm not at peace no more. I'm angry. Oh. Wait a minute. Just like how Aaron's name says, answer the question, motherfucking part two or no. <laughs> I was trying to ignore that. <laughs> oh. But uh, oh. no, in all actuality, just listen. Listen to music. It'll help you out in life. Uh, meet final remarks as always for everyone that's in the comment section every segment y'all like the comment section on fire so y'all y'all are the mvps as always and for my closing remarks uh music is therapeutical it, it is healing. It is very relatable. So, don't be afraid to open. Don't be afraid to open your ears to the variety of music that is out there. There could be music that's out there that you slept on, and there could be music you haven't heard of yet. Just keep an open mind, and just be open to any and all music that you find that is relatable. Talk your shit, man. Is it? Mm. Okay. Aaron, hmm. final remarks <laughs> and none, none of them be about groups. Go ahead. AKA <laughs> Mr. Hello Motherfuckers Part 2. Did you have the fart? Like, Aaron, what the fuck? Don't ever say my name like that ever again. <laughs> Not on the show. 
Anyway, um, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate the support. Um, <laughs> share, uh, tell a friend. Um, we hear every every other week. Um, um, I would also say if you have an opinion on music, stand on that shit. If you don't feel like all that shit was great to you, it don't have to be great to you. If you feel like them boy bands was just out there, you know, <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Like if you feel that way, then feel that way. Like no one, no one is saying like every single thing. If you feel like Tony, 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 never mind. We ain't going back there. If you feel like mint condition, never mind. We ain't going there either. <laughs> <laughs> like what you like, stand on it. Don't be afraid to be different. If people laugh at you, let them laugh. They laughing at me. I don't care. I, I had a great time tonight, y'all. It was fun. It was great that we all had different opinions on on great artists. Um, and I look forward to seeing everybody next time on part two, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Like I said, hello, motherfuckers. Y'all want part two or no? Well, it hello, like, motherfuckers. It was like, hello? <laughs> I, I meant to put a couple periods. It's supposed to be a pause. Well, seven, like, oh? six, yes. Well, I mean, well, seven, one person out of everybody that was tuning in. So, but we're gonna do one anyway because we still got a whole lot of artists. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's get to the anyway. comments, Gerald, before you read yours. That was worse. Right. Um, Kurt said, great show, you guys. He also said, how do I sign up to be a guest? LOL. I have some preaching. I think he meant I have some things to say. LOL. Seven we'll said two. Kirk said, y'all dope as hell. My bad for the typos. My fingers fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, never mind. Um, we'll talk about it, Kirk. I'll, I'll if y'all want to be a guest on the show, hit us up in Messenger. And we can talk about it, okay? Just hit us up. Leave a message. All right. <clears throat> hit us up, as she just said. Uh, to the people in the comments, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming through. And um, thank you. Thank you, uh, Aaron. And um, hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the people who showed up for the first time. We ask you to come back again. We ask you to continue to, you know, tell your friend, tell your, tell your mama, tell your dad, tell your uncle, tell your auntie about this show. Help us grow. Grow with us. And put us on some shit. We'll definitely put you on some shit at the end of the day. Final, final remarks. Music. Makes you lose control. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the house. <laughs> anyway, music is a language everyone speaks. You can you love it, you hate it. You also can have your opinion on it. You also can dislike, like, don't give a shit about whatever pertains to your spirit. Go with it. Regardless of what another motherfucker would say or think about your opinion, rock with your opinion. Because like I said, only you only you can swag that shit the way you can today. So all I'm going to say is just keep keep your music libraries up. Keep listening to this shit. Keep know? telling us about it and keep just, you know, just continue to live, laugh, and love with music. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, ahead. And, uh, <laughs> go ahead. And as Aaron says in the box, <laughs> take care of yourself and each other. Just talk your shit, sign it off. We love y'all. Fucked up. Damn, I fucked up. It's not others. It's others. Bye. 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 <laughs>